How do you guys feel about that? Take it away, Bite Me. Hey, what's up and welcome everybody. My name is Bite. Behind me, I've got Brianado, Red Warrior, King Diamond, Blood Thunder. Thank you for joining us this evening. We're gonna be jumping into 100% Nightmare. So buckle up because we are <laughs> getting ready to go. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> All right, uh, we are gonna start the timer here real soon. I'll count down as soon as we wake up and put some clothes on. <laughs> Taking a book out of Muffin's page and we're gonna put on some pants. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two, one, start the timer. Woo! How you feeling, Bite? Feeling pretty good, so uh, for anyone who's not familiar with the run, we just bypassed a short little cutscene that would have cost us a couple seconds. If you spam fire the gun, you can prevent yourself from uh, getting lost in the beauty that is this pistol. <laughs> but now we gotta go find our clothes, get ready. We got places to go, demons to kill. A lot of demons to kill. All right, so uh, while we're going through this, Red Warrior, you want to tell us what the 100% nightmare criteria entails? Yeah, sure. 100% is about what the name already implies. Upgrading everything, collecting everything you can. Um, every level has several secrets you have to find. Every level has, from level 3 onward, combat rating, which tracks how many demons you have killed, etc. You want five circles full there. And every weapon you will collect has several weapon mods you can pick up throughout the game and you can master everything there as well. And yeah, of course you have to pick up the codices as well. Cute little data logs throughout the entire game. Cute, you say? Yeah, they're easy to miss. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of content and I'm really impressed that this is done in less than three hours. It's nuts. It's a fun ride for real. And so, oh, sorry. Quiet for this. <laughs> <laughs> that you can't talk over Dr. Dude, you Hayden. can't talk over Samuel Hayden. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna meander through here. Grab the shotgun. This guy had a bad day. Really bad day, apparently. <laughs> All right, guys, get ready. It's public enemy number one, the imp. So, Red, why exactly are these things so dangerous? Oh man, those are so fast, they run around the entire map if you don't kill them right away. Their attacks track you really well on the Nightmare difficulty. One normal fireball deals 45 damage, and they can also charge their attack, and they can predict to where you are going to, so you really have to be careful about them. And that charge fireball deals up to 75 damage. And they have their, their attacks are hit scan, right? So there's no travel time for their projectiles if they get a line on you? So there's a very low probability that they will initiate a hit scan, and okay. I say very low probability with an asterisk because they <laughs> love doing it all the time. And it is a marathon run. So. Yes. <laughs> and technically speaking, the more you run, the less they can hit you. Right. But you still have to be careful about imps. They're the worst enemy by far. What are you doing alive? All right, don't mind the shameless Easter eggs. Oh, nice. Oops. I love Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hugging a wall. I'm not doing anything special. You cannot be allowed to leave this place. You will ruin everything. I'm willing to take full responsibility for the horrible events of the last 24 hours, but you must understand our interest in their world was purely for the betterment of mankind everything has clearly gotten out of hand now yes. but it was worth the risk i assure you he assures us <laughs> 
All right, so this is typically the beginning of the Ultra Nightmare Run. We're gonna exit out through these uh, elevator doors. Everybody get ready, because this is it. UAC hype! <laughs> oh man, the UAC hype is real. You know, by the numbers in Ultra Nightmare, this is the most popular map because it's got the most times played. Can't imagine why. So I've noticed this is a Doom run, and like you're not out of bounds yet. So what, what's, <laughs> up, what's up with that? Well, so with 100%, you know, we're all about that high-octane combat, and uh, the goal is just go in, have as much action, get as many love taps as you can by those beautiful zombies. So is, that, is this like no major glitches, or like what's the... Is there any other, like, anything else that entails? Oh, yeah, so, Red, I'm gonna go ahead and field that over to you and let you answer that, because uh, there's a lot that goes into that. Oh, dude, <laughs> this is bad. This arena is hard, so, yeah. Um, well, it's not technically no major glitches. Um, glitches in Doom are, well, not easy to define. So, as Byte said, this run is basically all about Comet and the Comet chest in the entire game you place there. So, of course, there are a few glitches we make use of in the 100% um, criteria as well. But we are not going out of bounds, basically, and we do not um, do any glory kill skips. And no rail boost, right? Right. Rad. <laughs> right. There's oh, theoretically there... ways to put it into the run, right. but it's just so unnecessary. Yeah, in 100%, basically, you can do rail boost in the only first two levels. Okay. Because otherwise, you would be skipping too much, and you have to get full combat rating, so... That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And so, uh, Ultra Nightmare is like a permadeath category, right? And so this is just like the step down from that? Yeah, it's really the only difference between Ultra Nightmare and Nightmare is the, the permadeath. A little bit more safe for a marathon. Well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot, just a little bit. <laughs> All right, well, we've already gotten roughed up quite a bit. Uh, looking at 64 total health. Uh, I can't even survive a charge shot from an imp. Speaking of which, what's up, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> he just wants to say hi. He needed his screen time. You wanted the hug. That costs extra. <laughs> <laughs> Shout outs to you, Moose! <laughs> All right, we're gonna try something that rarely works. That's okay. We'll just take the, uh, the shameful scrub way now. <laughs> Was your goal to get on top of that, that uh, fence there? It's relatively new, uh, but yeah, you can get on top of there and just hop over. It saves about four seconds. Would you like a donation comment to make you feel better? Yes, please. Well, we have $500 from oh. Sequel Assassin. <laughs> Dang. That says, here's to the lovely crowd in the upcoming Doom 2016 run. Hopefully I'll pick up some tips to finish my own run. <laughs> <laughs> so is combat not tracked for this beginning level? Because I noticed you're like skipping enemies here. Cool. That is correct. Okay. So the first two levels. Ooh. Ooh, oh. man, that was close. <laughs> this is close, but we made it. We skipped over a trigger that locks the doors, so we're just gonna help ourselves to the exit right now. Thanks to the fact that combat rating is not tracked, we can just wave this place goodbye and head over to the next level that doesn't track combat rating. <laughs> yeah, when people think of 100%, they think it's literally everything in the game, but it's kind of hard to define that sometimes, of actually tracking it, so it's just 100% of what the game tracks. And even under the definition, it's still like a ton of stuff. Yeah, it's crazy. It, it's a lot to keep track of, especially later on when you're dealing with runes and weapon upgrades and level challenges. How, how does the combat, like, at the beginning of the run compare to... Because I imagine it must be, like, harder at the start when you don't have your full arsenal, right? Oh, absolutely. You know, it's the most difficult in the beginning when you don't have your tools. You can have a max of 100 health and 50 armor, and the armor bar is literally nothing more than an extra health bar. So considering that imps can deal 75 damage at a time, and uh, there's always like six to eight of them in any given arena, you could die <laughs> instantaneously. <laughs> and there's like no difference in the damage they do between this and Ultra Nightmare, right? That is correct. Gnarly. All right, so we got some mission challenges coming up. Red, you wanna tell us a little about what I'm doing right now? Yeah, the first mission challenge of this game is Variety to Spice of Death 1. Um, it requires you to perform five different glory kills on those zombies. Nice. You just saw, and he has already completed it. That was, was so sick. <laughs> and conveniently, this hallway holds five zombies. <laughs> so you can master it right away there. And those challenges are going to change on every level? And exactly. Like, okay. There's always three of them. Always every three. Level okay. From now on. Oh, the nice. Next... We skipped the mantle animation. 
That's fairly rare. These guys are really angry. <laughs> Practicing heavy, me heavy metal choir. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to say shout outs to Olivia? She believes in honesty. Especially now. So these levers trigger the, the secret rooms, right? That is correct. Okay. And do you have to complete those at all? Or like can you just like get the secret and dip? So that's pretty much what we're gonna okay. do. We're just gonna dip our toe in once we trigger the secret. We got places to go, so we're gonna boogie. And the first three Doom levels um, are the only ones that have demons in there at all. And the one in Foundry, you oh. can actually play through the actual section, basically. You would find there in E1, M2, in Classic Doom. Even with the music, that's Great addition. And in case anyone watching is like curious about how to like help keep track like along with fight, they the on the HUD in the bottom right and left. I do find that they it tracks a lot of the challenges there for you. Yeah, bottom right and top right. Bottom right, top right. Thank you. Once we get combat uh, tracking, it'll be in the top right. Cool. Lockdown disengaged. Alrighty, our trusty friend the chainsaw has been getting some action. We gotta <laughs> keep those two apart. Yeah, an important thing to note about all the monsters is there's a spawn cap of 12. So a lot of times if he wants to kind of get through easier parts uh, later on, he'll leave some monsters behind so they can't spawn in later. Uh, and sometimes you want them to spawn in later, so you have to take out some that are in your way. So this Gornest down here is probably one of the most difficult uh, arenas in the beginning of uh, the game. Uh, we lovingly called it the Gornest of Truth, and uh, the Gornest of Truth can lovingly bite me. <laughs> I get it, because your name bite me. <laughs> ah. Oh, I get it. Uh, <laughs> <thank you. laughs> what was up with that dude? Like, you took the key off, like, there was like nobody there. Uh, so because we did the skip, the body didn't okay. load in. All right. He's not even rendered because of what VT mentioned earlier. Yeah. With a cap of. Right. Oh, okay. Right. So even though he's dead, he still counts as a, a spawn. Getting real scary with all these noises. Yeah. This uh, area can be a bit difficult to navigate. And so the Gordness, they basically start <laughs> just big arena fights. I called it. For the most part, right? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. It kind of like blocks you into the area and wants you to yeah. kill off the remaining demons. All right, so we just picked up one of the uh, best defensive utilities that you're going to have. Uh, it's definitely one that if you're starting out, you want to get acclimated with. It's the Stun Bomb. It's a nice little get out of jail free card. You can use it to stun the enemies for a short amount of time, upgrade it to make its area of effect uh, bigger and uh, longer and all that good stuff. So we will be using that quite often. And this right here is the health station. We were very fortunate that we were lacking seven hit points. Uh, this will be the only one that we interface with in the run unless things start going really sideways. But Yeah, and the reason he has to interact with that is for the codex. Right. And now you notice that there aren't many demons in this area, even there should be way more. Mm -hmm. It's still because the zombies are still alive from the Gornis. That's really cool. And so this category in particular has like really had a renaissance in the last year. Uh, and that was, this was like not a category that was really popular when the game first came out, right? Right. Any percent it's kind of dominated for, for such a long time. Um, Thank you. <laughs> but it was about a year ago or so where the 100% uh, community really took off. Bite me and several others putting a ton of work. Oh, yeah, you know, I want to give big shout outs to the uh, founding members of the 100% criteria. So, the second person to get that criteria was dangerous, and uh, the yeah, third Dane. person was Harzy XD, you know. So, thank you guys both so much. Without your efforts and the time and dedication you put in, uh, we probably still wouldn't have an entry on the leaderboard. So, thank you. Yeah, I started seeing your your Ultra Nightmare videos 100% show up in my like my YouTube recommended, and then after that, I just felt like I was seeing it everywhere. So oh, it's been dear. really cool. 
Well, we got a bit of a fumble going on, but uh, we'll try our best to recover. Oop. Whoa. But he saw that. <laughs> and even here, you should have find, uh, should have found three soldiers now. Mm -hmm. And now like, they spawn in behind you. Like, usually this entire hallway is just filled with demons. All right, so we just picked up our trusty assault rifle. <clears throat> we bypassed the one that's sitting next to the health station behind us because it's got a long animation and we don't have time for that. By the way, with those USB chips, you can upgrade your suit, which Byte will do now. It's the first upgrade that goes into upgrading a suit. It's the Xperia one, which allows you to switch weapons faster, which is a big plus in this game. Yeah. Especially once you start getting some of the, uh, the major weapons, like the Super Shotgun and Gauss Cannon and the, the Rocket Launcher. So I did a nice little maneuver there uh, where I was able to jump up on a rail, open the door, so it'll be waiting for me here. And, uh, you know, I want to I thank the individual who uh, brought that to my attention. You know, uh, one of the prolific names in uh, the Doom 2016 community for style points is Klockner. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen his Cattinger video. Dude is absolutely awesome. He's been a great mentor. I greatly appreciate everything that you taught me and hanging out and all that stuff. Thanks, bud. All right, so we just picked up our first Argent Cell. Uh, this is a permanent upgrade to the uh, Doom Slayer. You've got three options. You can upgrade your health, you can upgrade your armor, you can upgrade your ammunition. Uh, we chose the latter because the more ammo you have, the more demons you can kill. And uh, we got a lot of that to do, so we're going to need a lot of <laughs> ammo. Especially for the Gauss dumps later on. Oh, absolutely. Recoil. And we're going to be chewing through a lot of Gauss. You know, I guess now is a decent time to uh, read off some donations if you would like to. I've also got uh, some quick shout outs to my uh, moderating team. So, uh, Miss Heartbeat, Sam Dean, love you guys. Thank you for doing what you do. Great part of the community, and I'm happy to know you both. All right, over to you, Covert. All right, sounds great. We have a lot of love coming in for you guys. Oh, yeah. Starting off with $20 from Vampiric Savior that says, this donation is 100% for seeing BT on the couch during Doom. Smiley face. Thank you so much. <laughs> we also have $200 from Ariel. Woo. That says, do you know your GDQ run history? I'm going to pretend I don't because I'm glad we're doomed to repeat it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on that note, we have $25 from Doom162. Doom. <laughs> that said, just finished Doom last week. Loved it. Sing metal noises. Blah, 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 blah. Dish, dish, <laughs> deer, dish, dish, deer, chainsaw sound. Ver? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I love the crowd. <laughs> yeah, you guys out there are great. Thank you so much for the hype. Okay, speaking of the chainsaw, uh, that's like really important to this run, right? Oh, absolutely. You know, when uh, you get low on ammo, uh, you can pull out the chainsaw, and as long as you got enough gas, you can instant kill anything and basically duck away into a glory kill retreat. That could be a <laughs> bit of a double-edged sword, but when you're finished, they just, you know, pinata ammunition everywhere. So it keeps you in the flow of the combat. Uh, the principle of this is called push forward combat, and the game designers in software, they, they did a great job of really incentivizing aggressive, fast-paced gameplay. Man, I tell you what, everything comes together so well. This is probably one of the most high-octane first-person shooters I've played in a very long time. And even though the chainsaw hasn't seen much love yet, believe me, you will. Yep. <laughs> and so now uh, I see the little logos on the top. Right. So right. that is going to be the combat tracking. Yeah, they'll slowly fill up as he kills demons. And uh, okay. once all five are gold, it means he's got 100% cool. for it. So Foundry, this is a level I remember from a casual playthrough for sure. Yeah, Foundry's uh, it's a fun one. This one's pretty iconic in any percent as well. Yeah, it's been the bane of uh, any percent's entire lifespan until recently. And on top of it, it's actually a non-linear level mm. where you can choose 
several routes you want to throughout the entire level, basically. Oh, let's go! Yeah, yeah. Let's go! Let's <laughs> go! Well, I can't, I can't jinx it yet because... Uh, oh, he does oh, the man. fight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I'll calm down. <laughs> and he basically has to be fighting two fights now because as soon as you enter this arena, before you pull the plug from the governess, you have a couple of ins and a couple of soldiers there. And now he, he also has the demons from the actual governess. So it's two fights. Oh, man, there's pretty balls everywhere. <laughs> I don't want what you're selling! And speaking about the like the open nature of this level, there's four different Gordon nests that he has to go and take on, so you can kind of route it in different ways. And it's gone through like several iterations, 100%. Uh, and this is just the most recent. Yeah, the idea is to just, you know, get everything out in the open, try to kill it as quickly as possible. And maybe you have not noticed that um, during the fight, um, he did, he, he got his first nine weapon point combat upgrade points, basically, and he put it into his weapon upgrade from the, um, what's the name? Cluster Strike upgrade from the shotgun. It's an explosive shot. And it's now like that he has... Launcher, right? Yeah. Right. And now that he has all weapon upgrades, he can master it. And the requirement for that is kill 20 demons, uh, 20 imps with direct hits from Cluster Strike. Man, I'm out of ammo. I don't like this. <laughs> I have just the thing for that, though. Coincidence. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to try to... Uh, there we go. Nailed that one as well. We like to stun the imps because we need them. We're uh, doing a bit of farming to uh, get that mastery secured. A lot of those levers are very deceptive uh, to find. Like, people search for, for hours, and it's like right in the open. That one took me forever, the one yeah. on the bridge. Yeah, that was one of the hard, that was one of the ones I missed. It's just like right there, and yeah. you just can't see it. I have to admit, I have not found any Batman <laughs> in my own runs. <laughs> and yet again, another ammo, ammo upgrade. We need more. We don't have enough. Exactly. It's never enough. Never. <laughs> well, that's a free, that looks like a free direct hit there. And now watch out, um, there's a Hell Knight spawning. <laughs> Where? <he's not laughs> him. Where'd he go? He pushed him back, back into the lava and he cannot route to you anymore and the game kills him. And thankfully it rewards you with combat rating. It's a fast, efficient kill. Just like that. <laughs> so, is it not triggering the chainsaw like animation because they're stuck in their own animation? That is that correct. Okay. Yeah, if you can get them like right as they spawn or they go into an animation, uh, it just skips actually putting the chainsaw into them. Nice. All right, so you know, there's so much responsiveness in this game. You notice that the screen shook a little bit uh, when that grenade popped and it killed the possessed soldier. So it's kind of like a reaffirmation that yes, your grenade found its target. And there's all sorts of little subtle clues like that all throughout the game, which just really help attentive players know whether or not uh, they've done something very efficient. Oop, sorry about that, dude. <laughs> Looked like you had a hot take. <laughs> he just saw Doom Guy and just fell over that. <laughs> <laughs> Too intimidating for him. It's actually the Doom Slayer? No. <laughs> I'll have you know that Doom doll that we just fist bumped was named Doom Guy. <laughs> all right, moving on. We got four more imps to go before we master this. So, you know, things seem to be going all right. Yeah, this is Gordon S number three out of four. Aw, oh, man. Oh, that was an imp, wasn't it? He couldn't yeah. withstand the power surge. Time for a donation. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, we have quite a big one. We have $2,016 oh, from wow. David Pittman. <laughs> Zang! 2016. Nice. And they have to say, here's 2016 big boys for <laughs> Doom, Doom 2016. Doom. <laughs> Let's glory kill cancer. Nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> Rip and tear. <laughs> This is such a satisfying run to watch. Holy cow, dude. 
Wow. It's nice when everything comes together. Yeah. It's not nice when it doesn't. <laughs> Let me tell you, uh, the variance in the difficulty is unreal, and uh, we still have uh, quite a bit to go through, so... Doom really likes humbling runners sometimes. Both Red and I can attest to this. Uh, if it doesn't want you to get out of UAC on a night, you will not make it out of UAC. It doesn't matter how good you are. Absolutely. And even if you make it out of UAC, you will find back a teleporter that teleports you <laughs> back to UAC. <laughs> As we said, it's the most popular game <laughs> in the numbers. <laughs> nice. Yes. All right, so this is the last of the Gornes here. Hopefully we can uh, tidy up. Not if I keep missing my shots like this, though. There we go. Nice. All right, so now we're going to hear some of the most satisfying sounds this game has to offer. The Cluster Strike direct hit is very powerful. Uh, powerful enough to single shot razors when they are hit with it. Are the razors the dudes with the beam weapons? Correct. Okay. Those ones, yeah. The ones just let it. <laughs> oh. That got messy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the final arena fight, and this is where things get uh, pretty interesting, because you start getting overwhelmed from different areas. There's a lot of verticality within Doom. It is very well designed and encourages players to find uh, good routes and to take advantage of items and paths that exist all throughout the level. So it kind of is really heavy on that arena FPS feeling. All right, thank you. And this was like the main fight that skipped with Founder skipping any percent, right? Right, yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay, well, he had his screen time. <laughs> One thing you'll notice about this fight is uh, Bime will be able, he, he just looks at all the spawns because he just knows the order. That's not the case for every single fight that he's going to do. Uh, a lot of them do end up having spots where they can spawn, but it's randomized. Uh, and sometimes it's like based on where you're looking. Uh, every fight's kind of a little different. I gotta move. Oh, this track is sick. Holy cow. Oh, yeah, man. Mick Gordon did a fantastic job with all of the music in this game. I love you, Mick! Yeah, dude, applause for Mick. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why I fell in love with this game, <laughs> yeah. really. The comic music is so awesome. He did a performance at the Game Awards once, didn't he? He did. Oh, it was sick. I wasn't there for it, but I saw the video of it. That's all I needed. All right, so it's always a coin toss as to whether this is a miming act or if the UI actually loads up, so... Uh, I believe it looks good. Let's see. Oh, no. Oh, no! no it's, it's a mime show today. Oh, it's not. <laughs> is there supposed to be, like, computer images displayed here or something? Yeah. Oh. There's, supposed yeah. Be, there's supposed to be some UI that's, like, changing. Uh, it's interpretive dance. I told my daughter I wasn't going to do this, but I can't help myself. He sees her, my man. He's hating. <laughs> the game be trolling, we be lolling, she be mime and dirty. <laughs> I'm sorry, popcorn, forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, in fairness, I can see why she didn't make it through uh, pantomime school. So, uh, <clears throat> good job on not following your dreams and becoming a doctor. <laughs> She could be an Olympic sp a sprinter, though. Oh, yeah, she <laughs> could. She, she definitely outruns the Doom guy, so she, she's got some secrets. She took her time going out that door, though. Yeah. She's humble. What a show-off. <laughs> like, if you think Bite Me is fast, she's, she's <laughs> yeah. already at the end of the game. <laughs> the true world record holder. <laughs> Top of the leaderboard, just as a living. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she do that for, like, April Fool's or something. Yeah. I'm gonna get an email. <laughs> you have been bumped <laughs> by Olivia. All right, so Argent Facility. Uh, this is a great level that's coming up. We're gonna see a new mechanic that is uh, used somewhat sparingly in this run, where you get to take advantage of explosions. Uh, we're gonna try to Olivia perform a grenade hop to cross a gap that otherwise you would spend time uh, mantling up to clear. Uh, it really only saves you about two seconds or such, but you know, those are two very precious seconds. 
I like damage boost. Let's see it. The bad part about being on Nightmare uh, <clears throat> is all these boosts do so much damage. Like, that does 90. Ooh, nice, dude. All right, now we're just going to hop across here and go to our first rune. Uh, these are a very nice introduction. Uh, you can have up to three runes later on in the game, and they basically just change the game style. This particular one is called Vacuum. So you have these mini games uh, within Doom itself that you can play, and once you complete it, you will unlock this power-up that you can slot into your Praetor suit. This particular one allows you to pick up items from a distance, hence the name Vacuum. Which makes it a really great one for like being on the move. You don't have to like walk straight over ammo to pick it up. Oh yeah, speaking of which, uh, it's actually this particular room that is responsible for assisting Zero Master uh, in his first clear. If you guys uh, have ever seen some of the early Ultra Nightmares, he was the first person to clear it, his Cyber Demon fight. He would have died, but having Vacuum <laughs> equipped and mastered actually saved his life and prevented him from biting the dust. That's cool. Yeah, big shout outs to the OGs that uh, were able to uh, take down this game within, what, a day after release? And, there's, and so there's a mastery for every single rune that you have to get as well? That is correct. Okay. Well, uh, what was like the most difficult part, or what is, I mean, I guess it's probably ongoing, what is the most difficult part of like routing 100%? Just that, uh, you know, you spend so much time practicing one thing and then all it takes is one small change uh, to cause you to have to change so very much. Uh, I swear it's almost like a weekly basis that we're finding more efficient routes or newer ways to do things. Uh, so it's, it's an evolving uh, process and the community is primarily responsible for what you see here. Folks who come in and uh, watch these runs, they're like, oh, hey, you know what? You're doing this, but I guarantee you if you try this, it'll be much faster and much more efficient. And mm. more often than not, they are absolutely right. So, you know, really great community in that aspect. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> and these guys don't appreciate explosions. Yeah, did that rocket just like fizzle? Uh, it had nerf pellets in it. Oh. They <laughs> forgot to load it with the actual shrapnel. Now he's spending the next Raider Suit token. Um, it's going towards power-up effectiveness. So power-ups last longer. They refill all his health to 100, or in that case, 100%. Depends on the um, um, health upgrades he will get from the Archer Souls. And it will release a shock wave whenever it fires. Yeah, we're just gonna grab a uh, random weapon mod, you know. There's really nothing in particular that you need to get. The tactical scope can help in some situations, but we won't Hello? be heavily using it. Oh man, you guys. They're just so ready to die. They really <laughs> are. So while this fight is going on now, he pulled the plug, he's making mad dash over to the token, completely ignoring the demons, and he's going to chainsaw the first Hell Knight, which is fairly right in his back. Okay, he took his time this time. <laughs> but yeah, it's a dangerous um, strategy, but it's still worth the risk, I assure you. <laughs> I see what you did there, Red. <laughs> All right, so uh, we got we to gotta farm some stuff for the sake of combat raiding. Uh, typically what we do is we hunt down the possessed soldiers. We're going to try not to blow ourselves up with barrels. Just sit down for just a moment. Okay, let's see how this is going to go. He's mad. Yes, he is. Oof. Cheater. Uh, so I remember in my in my casual playthrough with like the death room above glory kills that was like really I, don't, I couldn't do it just from a single jump. Is that is that just like a tight timing or what is that exactly? Well, so there is a, a tech that you can use that will greatly assist, and that's binding your jump key to the scroll wheel. Uh, there is actually a layer uh, above every surface that, uh, if you're standing on it, will allow you to jump. So anywhere your base is within that layer, if you hit the space, space bar, you'll go a set amount. What the scroll wheel does is it rapidly inputs 
jump commands in there, so it almost guarantees that you will get like the 90th to 95th percent of that layer, basically maximizing your jumps and opening up areas that you would otherwise miss. That's super, that's super sick. So you're like basically doing like multiple jumps off of like a rising surface, more or less. Like when you jump, or, or layers rather. Pretty much. What's happening? Okay. Okay. And uh, BT, uh, do you know who the individual was that uh, is responsible for? Discovering the uh, the scroll jump. If I don't remember, I just always think it's Insta Gib. Oh yeah, man, Insta Gibbs. Uh, he was also responsible for the creation of the uh, the ASL, if I'm not mistaken, for Live Split. Things are usually either Insta Gib or Seeker. <laughs> him, him and Glormo. That's the Seeker. Yeah. Oh yeah. Shout too. Out. All right, so we're gonna be moving onward to the first or second filter, and then we're going to go into a, another rune trial to get a rune that will help us with the stagger duration on demons. I love how mad Samuel gets when you're just destroying his stuff, man. <laughs> well, I mean, in fairness, he even gave it a second look, and then it, when he realized there was no easy button, he just did what he had to do. Yeah. But he found the easy button. I, yeah, The yeah, stomp is the easy button, yeah. Full target practice. Is there any like bloom within the the reticule there for the pistol? Yeah, so it's got some variance to okay. it. It's not the most accurate thing, even when it's fully uh, zoomed in with the alt fire. Dang. <laughs> I got lucky. <laughs> yeah, even at like the beginning of the game, if you're shooting the three uh, possessed, you can just miss. For no reason. That is very true. That point blank range. All right, so now we're gonna swap over to that. Uh, you know, a good portion of this run is going to turn into a Super Mario simulator. Oh, hey, thank you. That doesn't happen often. So what's uh, what's Dazed and Confused? What's that room? So Dazed and Confused is going to increase the stagger duration anytime you stagger a demon. And That's when like when they're glowing, right? Correct. Okay. So, you know, it kind of... It has many purposes. Uh, it can soften fights if you do damage but can't necessarily seal the deal. It'll give you a uh, greater amount of forgiveness. Uh, so you can notify them, kill them. You can glory kill them easier. Dispatch them however you want. When it's fully mastered, they, they take a really, really long time to come out of that. Good lord. You might have noticed that there's a gore nest that he's just completely leaving alone. It's because it's not required. And it's not tracked for anything, so... There's really no reason to fight it at the moment. All right, so and because he can skip the fight, is because he was farming um, more demons from the Hell Knights from earlier during the first gore fight. So, yeah, that's why he can skip it. Yeah, the combat doesn't mean you've killed 100% of the enemies on the level. You've just killed enough. That's correct. Each demon offers a static amount uh, towards the combat rating, and each level has uh, a required goal that you need to hit. So, uh, you know, as long as you meet that quota, you're in the clear. It doesn't matter how you kill them. It's just so long as they don't despawn. Um, they can try to initiate their go-home in which they, they will die, but if the game takes them out, then they don't count towards combat rating. And you can see some of that later on. Uh, there will be a Kako Demon in the very final arena after you uh, kill the last Baron that if you do not kill, he just he returns home. His people need him. And that will not count towards uh, combat rating if that occurs. Oh, yes. This, this is the best gun. It's my favorite. This, this is the best gun. Look at that butte. That's an any percent runner can help but love the Gauss Cannon a little bit more. That's but. fair. I mean, movement's cool. But. Oh, ouch. I got my tick, though. Tick is a technical term for progression towards masteries, so you'll hear me throw that around quite a bit. Yeah, but basically just the, the challenges on the bottom right every time it goes up. A tick. And the weapon mastery he's currently farming for is the remote detonation for exactly that rocket launcher. Its requirement is to kill three demons with one rocket. But on paper, it's easy. You have to do it 15 times, but the reality is it's not that easy. 
Is the remote detonation an upgrade you have to get for the rocket itself, too? It's a weapon mod, yeah. You yeah, okay, okay. or mode. rather a weapon mod, yeah. Right. You picked it up on Foundry. Okay, cool. Yeah, getting three demons to be in the same area and stand still actually use a remote Ow. detonation. Oh, God. That tickled a little bit. All right, gloves are off. And the reason why he's not <laughs> getting the demons right away is because he's wants to get this thing confused, so they're staggered, and he can get progress towards the room with mastery. Okay, we're about to uh, see my my favorite demon in the game, and uh, my chainsaw has a date with it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the summoner. <laughs> I mean, was the summoner. <laughs> Those things are really cool. Uh, they are... Uh, very similar to Arc Vials, in a sense, uh, except instead of reviving dead demons, they summon brand new ones in. And, you know, Hugo, Marty, if you guys are watching, please give, give me a golden gore nest with uh, both summoners and Arc Vials. That's all I'm asking for in Eternal. That would be brutal. <laughs> Have time for a donation? Absolutely. Well, is, this is kind of pertinent. We have $50 from Dylan S26 that says, Hey all, gameplay programmer from id Software. Yeah. yeah. We, lo we love seeing what the Doom themed running community can do, and we are looking forward to what you'll do with Doom Eternal. Let's rip and tear cancer apart and get hype for this Doom. Hell yeah, man, you guys are awesome. I love you all. All right, let's do this. <laughs> all right, I believe we have just enough. All right, there we go. Literal rip and tearing. <laughs> so there's actually a freighter uh, token we need to go get after this, but there's some time after the cutscene. We have to wait around anyway, so just kind of double back. And the next upgrades go into Dexterity 2, which allows you to grab ledges faster. And there are tons of ledges you are going to grab in this level, in this game. Yeah, it's definitely a uh, pretty decent time save over the course of the run itself. So uh, our priorities are slated against uh, those upgrades that are, are going to assist us, not so much those that are going to uh, keep us alive. So the ability to swap your weapons quickly is probably the most important one for speed. But if you're looking to get into the game and you want to survive, the environmental safety is definitely the way to go. Uh, climbing up that, you can make yourself immune to barrel damage. And that's very important in yeah. every stage. So many barrel deaths in my casual playthrough, dude. <laughs> Those demons are not uh, programmed to specifically target barrels, but I tell you what, they hit them a lot. <laughs> At least there's a little delay before they explode, so you can react, or, well, maybe you see death before your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one and a half seconds, you know, to go, hey, did that fireball hit that barrel? Splat. <laughs> yep, it did. Yeah, this is one of the coolest levels in the game. Just the amount of verticality that comes with the Yeah, yeah. It's so cool. <laughs> All right, let's see where we're at with that. That's terrible. All right, so... He was referring to Dacing the Fuse there. Yeah, we're a bit behind on that, but uh, we'll make do. Three more to go. Uh, right. our, our, sorry, go Oh, ahead. God, it's a party! Those are the party balls, by the way. Mm, this is going to get interesting. Squish! <laughs> are the Revenants uh, like a threat at all for, for Nightmare? <sighs> I hit it with the cluster strike. <laughs> Your aim is too good. So, uh... <laughs> Just aim a little bit worse. <laughs> Next time. Revenants, uh, they serve a very specific purpose, and that is really just to encourage you to stay on the move. Their primary uh, attacks are, you know, if they get close, they can do some serious damage to you, and if your health is low enough, they'll just outright kill you with a glory kill. Uh, but they have one attack where they'll jump up in the air and they will track you. And uh, if you are staying still, those rockets will pretty much pop you. 
But outside of that, uh, you know, they're they're not too uh, threatening. And they're never not screaming. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like most enemies in this game, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> These guys just need some cough drops. <laughs> Does, uh, does ADS thing like that, does it actually tighten the cone? It does. Okay. So, you know, there's a pretty wide and uh, short cone from the base, but uh, when you use the alt fire, it'll skinny it up and lengthen it just a little bit, okay. enough to make it uh, pertinent at uh, mid-range. But the uh, super shotgun, uh, any operator knows it's best used uh, close and personal. <laughs> All right, I would love to swap out Dazed and Confused for Ammo Boost, but unfortunately I'm too much of a scrub to be able to do that right now because we have one more demon that we have to pull a Mario on. <laughs> All right, this is going to be the last uh, ammo upgrade uh, for the run. Now, technically speaking, in Ultra Nightmare, when you do this, it's going to save that location, and uh, the cursor will be on the last thing that you access because there are two origin cells in this particular level. So the ideal is when we go to the next one, we have to remember that we actually have to press a key to get to what would typically be the default of health. I don't know why that happened, but... Uh, okay. <laughs> yep. Oh, God! GG. <laughs> <laughs> and we go splat. So anyway, I took a risk. Uh, had a brain fart. We'll go again. That's the danger of this bridge section. Yeah. It's... I thought I blew my double jump, and then I realized that I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Time for a donation. Yes, sir. Well, we have five dollars from the Doom Punner. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> that says, I'm really excited for the upcoming Doom run. It's going to be a hell of a time, and I'm sure Bite Me is going to slay the game. Oh, man, I'm cacoing just thinking about it. <laughs> We're That's all great. eternally grateful for everything this marathon represents. With these five dollars and everyone else's donations, I'm sure cancer will meet its shoot. I can't think of a good pun here. Audience, <laughs> can you help me out here? Oh man. Can we get a doom from the audience? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was like a boo and doom like the five <laughs> from the box. They were saying boom. Yeah. Um, I love the collective groan that went out between us when we heard the <laughs> Doom punter, by the way. <laughs> it's like, oh no. <laughs> that was great, though, man. Thank you so much for the yeah, donation. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so now we get into an interesting part of the run where we, we shed all of our sumptuous ammo uh, for the sake of trying to master the vacuum and ammo boost runes. So, you know, I know this looks stylish, but uh, I don't do it for that reason. It's really just because uh, we're going to be interfacing with ammo crates, and uh, we want more ammo to drop out of them. So in order to do that, we have to uh, ditch what we have and make things kind of dicey later on, but it's well worth it, I assure you. I mean, look at this. How did she get here? I mean, I know I fell in everything, but you're going pretty fast, dude. Yeah. She did take your bike pump, so maybe she's just riding a bike. <laughs> I feel like she's taunting us, staggering around like this. Yeah, she is not looking too hot right now. Is this her cool down exercise? <laughs> is that what it is? The preferred weapon of choice for draining ammo is, by the way, the assault rifle, as you've just seen. Yeah, because the, the missiles actually drain the assault rifle as ammo itself, right? Like they're not their own ammo source. Correct, and they are quite expensive too, so yeah. it's a really good way to shed a bunch of ammo really quickly. Now, uh, we have to give these guys a chiropractor session. Uh, <laughs> I will say that I don't believe that uh, Doom Guy can practice in the state of Missouri, so I'd be a little hesitant about getting a session with him, but uh, that's between you and me, right? All right, I'm gonna... Oh man. Barrel. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna see some more summoners. The weapon mastery right now is lock on burst. The requirement for that is kill five summoners with it. Wow, we just got payload mastered. You know what that means. The game's gonna screw me here soon. 
It's always a bad sign when you have um, remote detonation method too early. <laughs> you know the game will kill you. <laughs> you know, Doom has this habit, you know, it lulls you into this false sense of security. It's like, you know, you're getting pretty good at this. Here, let me show you who's boss. And uh, how pertinent, because uh, we have a pretty interesting skip coming up that uh, got a little bit rough during practice, so we'll see how it goes here. Uh, I believe this skip, um, you know, I, I really don't remember the name of the individual who discovered it, so I do apologize. I believe apologize. it was Lifelike. There we go, that's oh, it. Oh, yeah, Lifelike. shout out to Lifelike, dude. Yeah, shout outs, man. You know, I, I hope uh, you like what we've done with it. <laughs> you Lifelike. Belly dancer hype. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, wow. All right, here we go. It's pretty risky to pull off that set banana skip. It's called banana skip because he's on oh a banana God. right now. Oh, oh God, oh. here it comes. <laughs> yep, this is bad. It's a very slippery banana. It is. And uh, we only have a short amount of time to be able to make it. Uh, yeah. I gotta kill this mancubus, though. Oh, dear. Jesus. All right. All right, I'm out of here. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> so is that a successful skip, then? And because, that yeah. it okay. was. <laughs> you can call that successful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's the alternative? Doing that whole fight down there? Oh, yeah. Okay. Big, big time sink. So we're just gonna continue kind of going through weapons, trying to uh, drain them in a good amount of time. We want to show some equal love so that uh, we don't find ourselves completely uh, empty on any particular thing. But if we get a chainsaw kill, there will be enough ticks uh, to make it worth the while. Speaking of love, time for a quick donation. All right. Well, we have $10 from PK212 that says, I have a very important question. What is the cutest demon in Doom? Oh, oh man those chibi caco demons i was that's what i was gonna say yeah great minds the they pink, think alike pinkies are pretty cute they can be except when they're trying You're to eat cute. you after you've killed them we'll talk all right <laughs> so uh that was the final one we got a hell knight that we can probably get to respawn after this so let's see if he rejoins the fight with us all right we're gonna stay on the move here once again, this is farming to help out with uh, combat rating. Once we... Oh, dear. There we go. Oh, nice! Ouch. It's interesting for how long staggered revenants stay in their staggered um, state. As opposed to Mancubi, who, well, they unstagger pretty fast. So if you want to go for a glory kill there, you've got to be fast. Time for two quick donations. All righty. All right, let's do it. We have $20 from Craig133 that says, had to donate during the doom. 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 Rip and tear until cancer is done. And then we have a $25 donation from Wood that says, Wood! <laughs> <laughs> Can we do one more? Yeah, sure, absolutely. We have so much love coming in. I just, just to say for this Doom Run, you guys are doing great. Yeah, let's hear it. All right, well, we have $25 from R. Simpson 105 that says, let's go Doom 2016. All right, guys, thank you so much for your support. That's awesome. Oh, can we make it? All right, we're gonna make it. That was kind of close there. Yeah. Yeah, just slowly making our way up the tower. Luckily, there's not, not a whole lot of fighting you have to do here. Uh -oh. Yeah, it's just a bunch of climbing. There is a, a nifty little trick to keep some vertical uh, momentum here. So he's gonna be able to jump off of this a little early. Just fly up. Oh, it's like preserving right. momentum when it rises. Okay, cool. Absolutely, the uh, forward momentum gets translated into vertical height, so it's very nice. beneficial for the uh, for the run. Just being able to pop up there. This already looks terrifying. Um, this is a, a bad bad one for speed, so we got to lure these zombies over to these barrels and uh, 
try to make effective use of it. Oh, man. I've only got one hit point, so it's a bit dicey. And now we found ourselves in a dead zone. Thank, thank you. Thank you for surviving all that. <laughs> well, almost surviving all of that. Yeah. <laughs> Second barrel's the charm. All right, so now that we have four total runes, uh, we're going to be able to slot two simultaneously, so that's, that's going to be great. Going to go ahead and put that in there. The equipment power rune is only going to be used for a very short while. Red, would you mind explaining the technique that we're going to be using coming up in order to uh, rapidly level this up? Yeah, sure. So as you just saw, he um, equipped the equipment power rune. And in order to master it, you have to use your equipment 30 times. There's a cool little feature in the game where you can master it pretty much instantly, which is doing right now. Um, I can't even speak that fast. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's a pre-delay in the hologram. When you use your equipment with the hologram, the game registers that you have <laughs> used your key. But there's a delay for the actual physical hologram until it drops. And you can overwrite the animation by simply switching your weapons. And if you do that 30 times in a row, you master the rune instantly. That's much. amazing. And so you just picked up, this is your favorite gun, right, PT? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Cool movement. Thank you. The uh, Gauss boosting definitely adds a uh, really intense aspect to the game just because of the amount of uh, mobility that you have with it you have to be very careful because you you can go off flying but right. it's very useful to use in the thick of the combat because you can use it as a bit of an escape or you can use it to quickly get into a uh, an advantageous position to uh, continue destroying these things it, it's nice that you get it a third of the way into the 100 percent run because you see i mean you, you see a lot of it in any percent but that runs only like 20 minutes long right for this final fight, it, there's kind of a, a timer ticking down in the background. Uh, but he still has to go and get the classic map because he pulled the lever, but he never actually went and unlocked it. And, uh, so once he's gotten enough combat rating here, he's going to actually have to go all the way back down the tower and get that before he works. Thankfully, there's a quad damage, so he can kill the Mancubi pretty easily. There's they also, contribute the most towards combat kind of rating. There's also invincibility here, which will allow him to actually survive the fall. How tight is the timing for this? Um, at this point, it is actually going to be very tight. Okay. Uh, I have to find these guys and hope that uh, I don't screw this up. Uh, let's go. Three, two, one. Whoa! Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, <stop. laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> I heard the countdown. I'm like, I'm like, is there a delay after the countdown? <laughs> well, let's see if we got everything first. You know, we gotta, we gotta go and see if we start out with ten. Uh, it would be really embarrassing if we have nine. <laughs> we'll continue onward, though. <laughs> That's some nice little self-reference points you have throughout the game. Oh yeah, yeah. we did it. <laughs> ten button points. That was godlike, dude. <laughs> God, wow. Thank you. It's very scary because, unfortunately, this game doesn't have any ways of making manual saves. So if you miss that at the very end, he'd have to do the entire level. Hey, can you, you can't backtrack. For some reason, I thought you could. No, not between levels. Wow. Oh, there we go. Scrub that up. I'll see it later. Actually, let's load checkpoint. I won't see it later. <laughs> <laughs> So this is also a big difference between Nightmare and Ultra Nightmare, is that Ultra Nightmare doesn't allow you to reload checkpoints. Oh, really? OK. Yep. I guess that makes sense. There is a way around it, but that was banned uh, by the community for a, for a great reason. Um, well, what's the reason? Because I, I abused the hell out of it. <laughs> 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 I want to show how dumb it was, so I just did a run where I just Alt F4 out of the game and reload it every time I died. <laughs> uh, and nobody liked that. So you would. <laughs> Well, so I missed that jump twice. I climbed the Rocks of Shame. Uh, you know, it happens. <laughs> but we're going to go down here. This is a uh, pretty interesting arena fight. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. Let's see. There we go there. Uh, typically, if you don't have remote debt mastered, you can just use a remote debt to uh, rocket. Thank you. <laughs> he hugged your rocket. He did. 
And so you're you're in hell now, right? This is right. hell. Okay. This is fir first map in hell. Oh dear. Hello. There's actually some really nice throwbacks to the older games with like the uh, the skull keys mm. and some of the pedestals that you uh, pick them off of. Like, that's the great thing about this game is every level is so well designed that sometimes you may not even recognize it's a throwback to an Whoa. old map. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love you too, buddy, but uh, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> like, if, if you're really familiar with the classic Dooms, uh, there's a whole lot of arenas that look very similar. Mm. And such a, a, a great touch. That's pretty cool. Time for a donation. Go for it. All right, well, we have $10 from Aaron27 that says, QA tester for Doom Eternal. Big fan of any percent. Yeah, go ahead and cheer for that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. yeah. Hell yeah. I love seeing test support for speedrun fans. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. yeah. You know, big shout outs to the uh, any percent crowd. You know, uh, Meta Live, It's Poco Mate, yeah. Walk a Dial, Seeker, the Fun Cannon, all you guys, you know, the, the tech that you guys use is awesome. The runs are extremely extremely technical, really interesting to watch. So thank you. Thank you for everything that you guys have done because it's made a big difference in uh, how we do a lot of our things here in 100%. Uh, I, I wish it was somewhat reciprocal. <laughs> Was that donation finished, by the way, Covert? Uh, no, it wasn't. I, oh, I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> so Aaron, I'll just read the entire thing again. Uh, QA tester for Doom Eternal. Big fan of any percent runs and looking forward to seeing how all y'all break the 100% run. Just wait until March 20th. <laughs> there you go, March 20th. Doom Eternal. Yes, I have the 20th, <laughs> 21st, and 22nd booked off. <laughs> You're going to need more. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> The last arena, if you noticed, held um, two summoners, and those summoners are the first ones who can spawn in bigger demons, such as Hell Knights. So if you let them alive, you get flooded by them, and that's not fun. All right, so we are going to start working on getting vacuum taken care of, uh, and what we're going to be doing is chainsawing these enemies to spawn the ammo items, and then we will drain <laughs> our highest rate of fire weapons first, and then we will cycle through the slower weapons after until they disappear. It gives you roughly, you know, anywhere from 43 to 45 ticks per, so it's very useful in mastering those two particular runes. Kedinji is a perfect example for um, the fixed spawn points I mentioned earlier. Um, if you know the patterns where demons spawn in when, um, you can pretty much nail the entire arena within seconds, which he's doing right now. Oh, God. Well, I wouldn't call that nailing <laughs> it. I love the quad sound effect. So sick. That's better. Burnt. Burnt. <laughs> And someone mentioned the flashbacks from Classic Dooms before. It also applies for the music. Right. It's so great. Um, he recycled, like Mick Gordon recycled, um, lots of Classic Doom tracks. Oh yeah, the influence is definitely present, and uh, man, it just it goes so well. Oh no. Yeah, even missing like one shot here. Be... Sir? Come on, <laughs> give me some slack. You have to be very careful because you can uh, end up uh, messing yourself up if you mistakenly opt for a melee attack uh, because it'll actually push off the reload animation on the shotgun, mm. so it's better just to wait. Time for a donation. Go for it. All right, well, we have $5 from just one of the Doom guys that says, <laughs> hello, AGDQ, one of the ID tech engineers here. Ooh. I love seeing Doom run at these events. Yeah, go ahead, yeah, please. <laughs> I love seeing Doom run at these events, and I was over the moon to see this category in all its glory in a marathon. Rip and tear. And so we shall. That was great timing. <laughs> Oh man, that's awesome. You, you can definitely tell uh, all the love that was put into this game. It's the minor details that really make it great. The fact that the UI is as responsive as it is, the weapons synergize so well, the demons basically reflect pieces on a chessboard. It's so 
complex yet so simple. <laughs> and so awesome. Indeed. And so bloody. <laughs> I have a donation that kind of pertains to this. Can I read it? Go for it. All right, well, we have $20.16 from Alan James that says, Doom is hardcore. Video games are hardcore. Everyone donating and working behind the scenes is hardcore. <laughs> That's hardcore. So hardcore. There was a point when he went and, and saw the, the chain gun but didn't pick it up. It's because there's a secret down there, but picking up the chain gun at this moment would give you uh, an, an animation when you can just get it later on and skip that animation. Okay. So you just left it behind. That was shockwave by wearing off of the invulnerability, by Ooh. the way. Oh, man, that's all. You know, I don't know why I'm leaning forward. It's not I, like I, gonna I, help I, like, me. I felt <laughs> lean with you there, yeah. <laughs> but it does help. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we call that the gamer lean. And just and touching back on the, the amount of support from the devs has been awesome. We had the, the fortune of, of going to QuakeCon this year and showing off so cool. all the different Doom games um, and like talking to people who worked on it. And it's and uh, they it, they had you guys speed run the Eternal demo right, right yeah. at the event. That's really cool. So just to see that kind of you know support from the developers themselves is it, really really cool. Well, that was a nice cluster strike headshot. What's up, buddy? Yeah, no, that that was a great opportunity indeed. You know, getting getting to speak with everybody and uh, being able to see uh, Hugo, Marty, and uh, the team that was responsible for this beautiful gym, this modern classic. <laughs> I guess you could say it's new, but it's classic. <laughs> Shout outs to my boys in uh, new classic. You know, I really want to go down the list real quick. Uh, Tokyo Punch Out Zero Four. Uh, Bazooka Joey, Swan Song, Nista, Zeus. I don't even know if you're a member, but you're badass, <laughs> man. I love you guys. Thank y'all for having Diamond Eye in in the uh, the clan. You know, really having a lot of fun playing Quake Champions and learning from the best in the business. You guys are awesome. Do you have time for any donations? All yours. All right, well, the $20 from Casey Stranger that said, this Doom run is simply entrancing to watch. Agree. We also have $10 from Zinras that says, let's Doom Cancer. Nice. Let's do it. Doom. <laughs> <laughs> nice timing. <laughs> We also have $25 from Saline that says, have to donate during Doom. Easily one of the best shooters released in modern history and one of my favorite runs for any GDQ. Oh man, preach it. It's the truth. <laughs> All right, so we have a hologram now and uh, that's gonna, I guess, calm our temper. We're not gonna unleash our anger on the weapon mod drones anymore. <laughs> Are you, are you, is, that like a, is it an animation cancel? Absolutely. Okay, okay. Uh, Red, you want to go into the fine details of what's actually going on under, under the covers there? Well, once again, you use the hologram to skip the animation. As I mentioned earlier in Archon Tower, where he mastered the equipment rune pretty much instantly, thanks to the pre-delay from the hologram. It works with the field drone as well. Now that we have it, um, you can, before you interact with the field drone, drop your hologram and instantly interact with the drone. And you, well, will not ever punch the cute little robot anymore. <laughs> they are very cute. Burn. Right? <laughs> That's a great noise, dude. <laughs> Most satisfying sound in the game. I, I nailed it anyway, so I don't know what I was worried about. Those were the first appearances by the Barons, by the way. And it's a cool detail that they um, have the first Baron in fight with trash. They're basically with imps and zombies. So you can a little get um, acclimated to them. It, it's also a really nice throw to the lore, too, because the, the Barons basically are the enforcers. They are a uh, higher caste um, than the Hell Knights. So they, they don't take crap from anyone, including lower demons, which they are happy to rip apart. 
Yeah, the lore for for the Doom remake is actually really, really deep and honestly really cool. Yeah, it's not lore that you get in cutscenes, but if you sit down and read all of the codexes, which will take you a very long time, there's, there's a lot of really cool details. But it's worth the time reading. That was a nice jump. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that was hard at all, but it made it look really cool. I mean, it was the most difficult thing in the world. Is that, wait, are you shooting, are those seed shots? Oh yes, this right here is a technique called the DKSMS. Shout outs to Dreamer King who brought it to our attention. Uh, basically, uh, well, Red, I'll let you do it while I focus on these guys. Um, yeah, one of the weapon mods from the Gauss Cannon is the seed mode, um, which he had grabbed from the last field drone. And one of its, yeah, its benefit is, is you can charge an attack, you load um, up the, uh, the seed mode shot basically, and it's devastating when you unleash it. But there's a cool feature as well, again in the game, which overrides the entire charging animation. So simply equip the Gauss Cannon, hit your melee key, and hit down, uh, hold down fire and ultra at the same oh. time, and boom, you have an instant seed mode shot. Or equip any weapon other than the Gauss Cannon and switch to it while switch. Um, switching animations, hold down, fire, and hold fire again. That's um, busted. That's crazy. Very. You know, it, it basically yeah. turns the Doom Slayer into a non-stop bulldozer. Anything in his path will die. Yeah, to put that in perspective, like, it, casually, a siege mode shot takes, like, what, four seconds to charge? So, or something like that, isn't it? Without Absolutely. the upgrade, yes. Yeah, There's so, like, they the really want you to, to like, pay for the, for the damage it does, and you're yeah. subverting that. That's crazy. And you can one-shot um, Hell Knights, Summoners, Revenants, Kaiko Demons with that and anything below of Wow. Of the <laughs> so now that he has the Siege Mode, the Rocket Launcher, and the Super Shotgun, it's basically the Alpha Rotation, as it's known. It's just okay. kind of cycle between those weapons uh, more often than the others if you're going for high damage output. Right. And I would imagine swiping, or swapping between weapons, you just don't have to worry about cooldowns then? Right, well. yeah, yeah. Each weapon kind of has a cooldown. And instead of just waiting for that to happen, you can just switch over and... And you've already upgraded swapping to other weapons fast. Yeah. It's cool watching, like, all these synergies built into each other as the run goes on. You know, that's neat. really the most beautiful thing about this particular run as well is because, you know, it's, it's a puzzle. And I, I love solving puzzles. Uh, a big puzzle. Everything like synergizes so well between the masteries, between the runes, the weapons, the, the upgrades, uh, the challenges. It just falls into place. And the refinement that we've gotten to right now, while not, you know, the most optimal thing that could potentially be out there is pretty streamlined. Yeah. The portal can no longer be closed from this And also just like kind of tapping into that synergy is like the easiest tip you can have if you're trying to find something to help you with your playthrough. Just start swapping between weapons and yeah. having different ones upgraded. But yeah, there's like no reloads in this game in the first place, right? So, yeah. A lot of people just shoot a shotgun and then kind of run around and shoot again. It's like, start getting into those swapping motions and taking advantage of the upgrades, then you do a lot better. Oh, yeah. Well, that, that was almost bad. I guess this is more of like a, like a nitty gritty thing, but that, uh, one of the things I've been most impressed with kind of quietly is just your efficiency of swapping between weapons like really accurately and precisely. So do you put a lot of thought into like your keybinds? Because I can't imagine you're using just like one, two, three, four, five on the keyboard because you do it really fast. You know, yeah, uh, the binds are very important. And, you know, a lot of people have asked me over the years kind of like what the deal is. And really the primary principle is finding something that is comfortable for you. I swapped from using WASD over to ESDF. And it's not to say that, uh, you know, high-skilled players can't use WASD. It's just, you know, making the move over to ESDF opens up more keys to the left. Right, and, that makes uh, sense. Yeah. Implementing uh, Huffman code uh, by looking at your, your heat map on your keys is really important. You want to make sure that the keys you're pressing the most often are the closest to where they rest. That's dope. I love that. Yeah, for anyone who's taking, like, a typing class, oh where he has his hands is basically home row keys. So it's like the most efficient for getting mm. uh, ar around the keyboard. <clears throat> I'm not sure I like this right now. It can take a while to get used to that, because if you're so used to just WASD, uh, it's basically like switching from a controller to keyboard. Right. But once you get it, it's just...
You didn't like it, but it worked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little crazy there for a little bit. <laughs> do you want a donation that makes it even crazier? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, we have a donation from HK, a Zenimax media dev, wow. for $500. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Thank you. They have to say, rip and tear through cancer. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Always a pleasure to see runners destroy Fallout and Doom on the GDQ stage. Here's 500 from around the globe, from Tokyo to Texas to Maryland to Lyon. Runner's choice. That almost sounded like, a, was it Macho Man Randy Savage? <laughs> <laughs> I almost sounded like that a little bit. Cream of the crop. <laughs> Ouch. That hurt. All right, so I got to actually somewhat pay attention now, because... <laughs> Um, somebody threw a barrel in my face. <laughs> One thing you may notice about this level is that it's actually the map uh, we played on before Argent Facility. This is Argent Facility Destroyed. Uh, so they just kind of repurpose the map in, in a new way and give you access to new areas. and it really makes it feel like it's something different. But when you look closely, it's like, oh, yeah, it is. All right, so, uh, you know, we skipped that nice long cut scene, and we still got to go back to the area where we would typically get dumped out at because we got stuff to kill. <laughs> so what masteries are you working on right now? You know, so we got Seek and Destroy. We still got Ammo Boost. Right. That seems like a really, really long one. <laughs> yeah, it absolutely is. Uh, but once it's done, it becomes one of the most powerful runes in the game because once you get the BFG, it uh, has the ability to drop with a very small percentage BFG ammunition. That's, that speed shot is insane. I can't get over that. This level has some cool mission challenges, I gotta say. Uh, one of them is Speed Shoot, which requires you to kill a Revenant while he is mid-air. So you get at least to appreciate some time, some screen time when he is actually in the air. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> He took his time, but he launched into the air. And the other one, which is even cooler, is Close Encounters, kill five demons with a chainsaw. <laughs> Just like that. All right, there we go. Let's get that savagery equipped. You think we could use a chainsaw on cancer? <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone tried that? <laughs> So that was the shrapnel upgrade from the rocket launcher that caused that uh, that stagger there. It applies a damage over time. That's cool. What does uh, what does savagery require you to do? Savagery requires 25 unique glory kills before okay. it gets mastered, and typically a session or two of berserk will take care of that. Now, the beautiful thing is, I don't know if many of you know this, but uh, Doom 2016 actually won the award for best point-and-click adventure of 2016. <laughs> We're about to find out why. <laughs> and while he is enjoying the point-and-click adventure, he's <laughs> um, focusing on killing Hell Knight. He wants four Hell Knights dead because this stamina is a unique one. She keeps um, she keeps on oh summoning God. demons in, even though the first wave has expired. So <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing right now, now, guys. I'm just clicking buttons and wiggling my <laughs> mouse. Where am I? <laughs> All right. Well, I had enough of that. Anyway, best point and click adventure, that ladies and gentlemen. Cool. That was awesome. <laughs> I love you. I hope those bikes Mike picked that up. That was great. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, so, you know, this one looks fairly easy, but let me tell you, the devil is in the details on this particular run. So the clock, if you imagine, like, an invisible clock that has a line that's drawing over it, uh, depending on if you are at 11 o'clock or 1 o'clock makes a big difference in how much time is actually applied. So if you are at 11 o'clock, you are getting a fraction of that clock cycle, whereas if it is on the uh, 1 o'clock, you get a heck of a lot more. Thankfully, we didn't get screwed over, so woo! 
In-flight mobility rune uh, really offers a, new, a unique way to play this game, and a lot of players, uh, especially high-level uh, players, like the air mobility. Um, it's nice. Uh, it's not my cup of tea, so I don't use it all that much, but I know quite a few folks who prefer the mobility that it offers because you can basically change direction on a whim as soon as you're in the air. Right, this gives you air strafing, like in a like in a Quake game or something like that, once you upgrade it, right? Yeah. Or not, maybe not like, maybe not like yeah. one to one, but like you're, you're able to move in a corner through the air. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you can zigzag, okay. make zigzags okay. in the air. And what's the, what's the requirement for it? Uh, you have to kill enemies while you are in the air, so there's oh. going to be a lot of jumping. You, are, you already do that, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Knock on wood. Yeah. <laughs> this gets done rather quickly. There's the cutie. A good boy. Who's a good boy? <laughs> What, do do pinkies have anything on on cacodemons for cutest demon? Yes. Yeah. Look at that tail. That's also their weakness. They're pretty heavily armored in the front, so they can even survive the DK SMS point blank, kind of. Um, oh, well, that was smart. Come on, buddy. See, they're just so happy to see Doom guy. They just rush over. <laughs> <laughs> and then DK SMS being that instant seed shot for anybody right. that missed that before. So he tries to jump over the charging pinkies and he shoots him in the butt. So at least they stagger, <laughs> if not die. That's the weakness, really. We must be like the pebble, skipping upon the surface of the calm pond. And by the way, he just tripped up the chainsaw without an animation, and I believe without everyone, anyone noticing. Yeah, I didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> but he just grabbed it. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna work on trying to get all these masteries. Uh, I will try to avoid shooting things in the head, but it's in my nature to want to do so. So it's very <laughs> difficult. It's a good habit to have in a shooter. Darn. Here I go killing again. <laughs> I would imagine finding that, like that last glory kill when, you, when you've done 25 or 24 other ones can be kind of hard to remember. Like which one you haven't done. Thankfully, uh, there are enough demons uh, right. that it actually doesn't become that big of a, an issue. Cool. Oh, so the great thing about glory kills is there's so many different animations per enemy that if you just have five or six different ones in the area, you just don't have to worry about it at all. In addition with the point and click adventure. <laughs> <laughs> and the glory kills are dependent on your position in relation to the enemy and as, where, as well as where you're looking? Correct. The enemy? Yeah. Okay. Your position, its position, its animation, where you're looking. Okay. Uh, there's, there's quite a bit that goes into it. Yeah, so you'll actually see later on, too, uh, there will be times where I will actually wait for its gait, its step pattern uh, to change so mm. that when I initiate it, uh, I'm guaranteed more often than not a specific glory kill. Nice. <laughs> All right, so we got a uh, siege in that. We are at stun bomb as well. So things are going quite swimmingly right now. I shouldn't open my mouth if I want them to stay that way. <clears throat> Ow. Oh. <laughs> yep, as I said, shouldn't open my mouth. So what do I do? Maybe you throw it over to donations? Hey. That's a great <laughs> idea. Nice. Well, we have $30 from Gino Garen that says, Hey, hello to Bite Me and Couch, and a special AO to Brian Otto. Hi, Gino. Hey. hey Thank you so much for the donation. Greatly appreciated. Let's rip and tear cancer out of the future, one donation at a time. Good speed and RNG for the rest of the week. Gino is a really, really good dude, and a big reason why I'm here. So thank you, Gino. Greatly appreciated, man. Thank you so much. Time for one more. Go for it. Great. We have $50 from Luna162 that says, Doom 2016 is my favorite FPS, and I love watching Bite Me destroy it in his run. Good luck and rip and tear. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for that. It really means a lot. I, I really appreciate all the support that we're getting for this great cause. You guys are just awesome. <laughs> That, that explosive zombie was like really close to hitting that cacodemon. It was. That would have been great if yeah. it did. <laughs> yeah, 
any, if, if anyone's watching this for the first time, be sure to follow by me. He, yes. He, he does this kind of stuff all the time. Yeah. So. This stream is awesome. Yeah. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Totally uh, agree. <laughs> Spoil or I guess uh, disclaimer, this is pretty much the only game I'm going to run until Eternal. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need. So uh, you, you talk a bit about like variety and stuff like that. It's, uh, I would imagine there's like quite a bit of RNG in this run just based off enemy behavior, but I would imagine like the true skill comes in dealing with like different situations in that way, or like reacting to the different things that the game throws at you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. This is a very reactive run. Uh, you have to make sure that uh, when things go south, you know where to uh, go to. So like, there we go. I had no ammo. Yeah, the RNG comes basically from the AI. Right. And just knowing how they behave and where they can potentially spawn, you can kind of mitigate that, but right. because you have to do so many fights in 100%, it's, it's, it's hard to keep track, and right. weird stuff happens all the time. All the time. I mean, even in practice, we discovered some new tech. <laughs> we were able to slot an early rune. Uh, even though we only had uh, two unlocked, we somehow managed to fit one into that locked slot. And, uh, that's, that's going to be fun. I'm sure we're all going to lose uh, quite a few hours of our lives trying to reproduce that one. <laughs> yeah, that would be huge, being able to master two runes at the very beginning of the game. That would be yeah. great. Yeah, you were asking earlier about like how, how do you deal with the routing. Yeah. Doing that, if you, if you have to go back and route That would like, change all, the whole thing. Yeah. 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 Being able to do different runes earlier. What's the what's the record right now? What's your record right now, Byte? Uh, it is uh, 224. We are currently working on trying to get it down to uh, sub 220. Would would like an early rune? Would that make like sub two possible at all, or would you need more stuff for that? Baby steps. Baby uh, steps. Yeah. yeah, we still got to get to sub 220 first. <laughs> yeah, I'm just curious of like how if it would be that big of a deal. Yeah. It would be nice uh, if we could find something that could have as big of an impact on the game as the DK SMS has had. Yeah. Donkey Kong Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> There's actually a typo in this title. It says Advanced Research Complex, but it, it should say Reset in the middle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this, this is that kind of level, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this one is actually a really big one-off as far as combat rating goes. For whatever reason, uh, the combat rating in this level is like tracked exclusively to Gornest fights. And I'm oh. gonna kick it over to Red Warrior to go in <laughs> at length at uh, this wonderful stage that we're visiting. I can hear like the like the spite wow. in your voice. <laughs> it is real. <laughs> yeah, so as you mentioned, combat rating works a bit differently in this level because only the Gornest fights pretty much count, contribute towards con um, combat rating. And that's why Bite Me is going to follow a specific strategy at the first Gornest. Um, there are several highlights spawning in, but if you kill them with a chainsaw, you can somehow delay um, the actual combat with when the summoner and the music kicks in, pretty much. And yeah, those glory kills from the chainsaw override that and delay it, so another Hell Knight spawns in. And ideally, he wants to kill four Hell Knights at least, um, while the fifth one is spawning in, and the sixth one could be spawned in by the summoner as well. So if you go out of the fight with five or six Hell Knights, um, you nail it pretty much. And the further reason behind that is because he wants to have three full combat ratings after the second Gornis. This will allow him to start um, the scope for the assault rifle, Davis Tether Rounds is the upgrade called to start working on his mastery in this level before we get the BFG even. And there are roughly 20 to 25 zombies you can, well, farm with that. The requirement for Devastator Rounds is headshot 50 demons, and, well, the zombies die on one shot into the head. So yeah, that's what you're going to see there in the next fight. At the Gornis fight, that is. And do, you, do you have a mastery that, that speeds up the animation of glory kills? A savagery. Okay, okay, I was gonna say, those are going really fast. <laughs> we are not advancing. We have time for donations? We do. All right, well, we have $20 from Dio, not that Dio, that says, <laughs> my best friend and roommate beat cancer this year. 
donation goes to Blood Thunder's choice if he names nice. his top three metal albums of 2019. Nice. Oh, of 2019. 20, 2019. Oh, that's oh, hard. Uh, SLA Dying's new album, Wage War. Do you listen to Between the Buried and Me? I mean, they've been releasing records. Yeah. Uh, uh, tools up there, but. That was the first time that, by the way, now? Let's just go with Flipmont's new album. Oh, nice. So that was fortunate. Second one. And he only used the chainsaw. Not bad. and ignoring everything because it really focuses on the Hell Knights. Otherwise, he would face to the next um, phase of the fight too early. And we have a great power up again in this arena. All right, we're just gonna wait for this last Hell Knight to make his appearance and then we are gonna go to our second round of point and click adventure. Um, but I ain't got time to wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rip there until it is done. <laughs> <laughs> point and click. Well, we have $100 from Mott that says, oh, point and click your gut. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. This game's a shooter, point and click, and a love story all at the same time. <laughs> it really is. Wait, what's the love story? A man and his shotgun. <laughs> Nothing can come between them. Do you have time for a quick dono? <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> all right. Well, we we have fifteen dollars from Trimac that says, "What's point and click cancer? Like bite me, point and click to those demons." Nice. All right, let's do it. The theme for the donation so far has been like on point. By the way, like y'all are killing it. You guys have y'all are awesome. <laughs> all right, so we got a bountiful amount of combat rating out of that. I think we are uh, pretty much good to go. Nice. It is a proto. Samuel Hayden has no boundaries. He just installed Windows 10 on me. <laughs> How dare he? <laughs> but I didn't think you'd allow its installation voluntarily. At least it's not Mac. Was the guy that did the voice acting for this like hit the, has, there has to be like some modulation to the actual voice or is that No, it was actually a robot. Oh man. <laughs> no, I mean actually... like I mean that's not the guy's actual voice, right? Like there's like some editing done to it. Right? Oh yeah. Absolutely. I was going to say it's it's so nice. So real real quick <laughs> since uh, we were talking about Windows and Mac, I want to shout out Mac Tabu, our master meme crafter. That guy's been doing a fantastic job of just coming up with all sorts of stuff and if you haven't seen his work, you should definitely uh, go check out the uh, Twitter feed. The guy's a genius. He made some really cool promo art for for our runs. Yeah, it was really neat. By the way, guys, uh, how do you think uh, these chairs feel? Do you think they... That one looks a little rigid. I, know, I think this couch is still better. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't like this one. I mean, the texture seems a bit off. The color's nice, I guess. Yeah. It's bright. Yeah. Four, four out of ten? No, no, not feeling it here, but... Oh. <gasps> what about this one? <laughs> nice. Uh, How's the lumbar support in that? Oh, man, it's great. Is that a DX racer? can really feel it in my glutes. <laughs> All right, so, you know, uh, we, we, got, we got a lot of stuff coming up, and there are a lot of people to thank, you know. The Doom community spans so many different criteria. We've got people from the any percent side. We've got people from, like, the challenge run ultra nightmare side. So, you know, I want to just thank folks like Tricky Dog, Hars, uh, Reina Warfare, Church, uh, Ferb, Ferb, who's been really new on the scene and been just breaking a whole lot of stuff. Apparently, he found a way to levitate through walls. What? So, yeah. <laughs> no, there's, uh, there's a lot of stuff uh, that's coming out. Um, I also want to give a big shout out to the OGs again, Zomeister, Bloodstained. Uh, these folks are the people who started out with pistol only and no upgrades. Zero Master also did the same, so thank you guys. It's awesome to get to know all of you. By the way, I have a present for uh, Dr. Hayden. He gives me advice. Do you have a time uh, for a quick donation in that regard? Yeah, go for it. Well, we have $100 from Ferb82. Hey, Ferb, <laughs> oh my speak God. of the devil and the devil doth give. <laughs> 
And Ferb has to say, theory, imps are cancer. Doom guy hates imps. Therefore, Doom guy hates cancer. <laughs> Heck, cancer. <laughs> Moo. Very solid. Moo indeed. <laughs> <laughs> All oh, right, man, Ferb, you are awesome, dude. Like, the, the fact that you have broken so much stuff in such a short amount of time, that's, like, amazing. He came up uh, and discovered a dirt mode as well as a, a way to access a hidden uh, animation with a BFG. There's actually a, a hidden boot kick in the game, hmm. which is really, really cool to see. Oh, man, I was going to chainsaw him for ammo. <laughs> Because demons die way too fast to keep track of what's happening, we've just got introduced to a new one, to a tankier Mancubus version, the Cyber Mancubus. But we will see one momentarily as well. Also, I'm yeah. assuming like the insane lunge that you have on your melee attacks now is also a mastery thing. Oh yeah. Yeah, you got like some Commander Pro stuff going on. Time for donations? Maybe? Keep it going. All right, let's keep it going indeed. We have $100 from James250 that says, I've always wanted to be able to donate live to this event. This year, I actually have been able to watch it live. I was going to wait to for the Mario block to donate, but this run is absolutely amazing. So much so that I feel the need to donate during both. So here is $100 to Doom Capture. <laughs> Man, thank you guys again, always. You know, the support that you're all are showing is unreal. It's crazy how we're playing such a violent video game and we're doing such good for a good cause. <laughs> Does this world make any sense? <laughs> well, we have $20 from Raditz that says, oh, yeah, please. Toy Dars from Raditz that says, Cancer is huge. That means it has huge guts. <laughs> point and click. Point and click your guts. <laughs> I love the enthusiasm, Cobra. <laughs> oh, man, that's great. I love you guys, too. <sighs> point and click your guts. <laughs> <laughs> Yavul! <laughs> All right, so we are now cycling out our mastered runes. We're keeping savagery in because the uh, time pickup that we get on the glory kills is still very beneficial to the overall time in the run. Uh, we're gonna head over here. This is a very non-obvious uh, handle, and when you find it, it's actually a bit tricky to get to. But uh, you know, we just very trigger happy with this Gauss rifle, so we'll clear the gap and go over there. Uh, this is a very well-timed area, by the way. Uh, this door that's opening and closing underneath us. Uh, if we are too slow, uh, we will smack into the wall and it will not be open. And if uh, we are too fast, the same thing will happen. So you gotta find the right amount of time. Otherwise, you could go slipping off into the chasm. I think we got some time for some more donations. All right, here. fantastic. Well, we have $15 from Gage Spell that says, I had to leave a donation during Doom 2016, if only to share this fun story. I was visiting Italy a few years ago and was wearing a Doom hoodie on the streets of Rome. Some guy walked by me and cheered, Doom! <laughs> and, as he walked by me in the exact way that the lovely audience members have been doing this evening. <laughs> Thanks for the awesome run, and let's rip and tear cancer. Let's do it. It's <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Oh, man, on this night, we have started a thing. <laughs> <laughs> on this... Okay. <laughs> I gotta concentrate, guys. <laughs> Just point and click. <laughs> Shut up, friend. <laughs> we have uh, ten dollars from Kurai Samurai that says, "Point and click every last one of them." Oh, <laughs> All right, guys, GG. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> My abs. <laughs> 
Well, if you're looking for some more app hurt, we have $50 from Ariel that says, how do you like your steaks? Because I like mine. Try, tip, and rare. Oh, my <laughs> God. I don't even... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right. I feel like that's really good, but it's also really dumb. This, oh, man. <laughs> He's actually entering this backwards uh, by using the Gauss boost just to kind of get to the secret a little quicker. And it puts him in like, a very convenient spot. And now he actually has the nine weapon points he wanted from earlier. So all the farming from the first bonus fight has paid off. So he will focus on Devastator rounds now. Oh, man. Hello. What's up, buddy? You got oh. the close. So let's get closer. That dude was 80 straight. Close, get closer. <laughs> I gotta be careful because that reference will end up being dead get deader. This is like the only use the scope sees in the run. Yeah, it's gonna have some prevalence here in the uh, next couple of levels. Uh, but then once it's done, we're gonna tuck it away and uh, bring out the big boy toys. <coughs> Speaking of which, uh, we got one coming up. Is it time for the big friendly gun? Oh man, it's the Bioforce gun. Big shout outs to Sim for uh, establishing those reference points to make this jump a hell of a lot easier. I'm so happy I nailed that in this run. <laughs> yeah, there's actually like a defense system that you have to deactivate to be able to get that, but if you just Gauss boost into there. That's awesome. You, you skip it, I didn't really. even catch that. Barrels are going everywhere. Yeah, man, they, they just want me. So in this room, this is supposed to be kind of like the, the way to like test out your, your new big friendly gun, but obviously you're just farming for masteries. It's also kind of a throwback to the end of episode one from Ultimate Doom. Oh, nice. Uh, there's a room you go into with tons of barrels and pinkies. Cool. So even stuff like this, it doesn't really seem like a throwback, but. Right. For those hardcore fans, it's a, it's a nice little touch. So I have to say, this is my least favorite rune in the game, although it is very nicely named, <laughs> uh, because it actually keeps the demons alive longer. What, what do you mean? Like, does it give them more health, or? So once they go into a stagger, they become uh, harder, harder to kill while staggered. The idea is that uh, they, you know, are around for you to glory kill. Oh, okay. Which, you know, may, may be nice if uh, you're low on, uh, health and such, and you're too busy killing things, but more often than not, you end up finding yourself staggering demons and not able to finish them off in a timely manner, in the speed run at least. Right. So one thing to note is, uh, you see in the top right it says 204 FPS. Usually, I mean, it's capped at 200, uh, which is usually for any percent. That's for rail boosting, uh, which you don't really see in 100% uh, at all, but it helps out with the BFG and the way that it shoots. Oh yes, the so BFG, uh, the tendrils, uh, they Ooh. are damage dependent on your frames. Uh oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I'm out of here! Oh god, what's going on? <laughs> That Revenant, by the way, would have died without Intimacy's best. And the reason why he's glory killing Imp, or yeah, chainsawing them, glory killing, whatever it's the same, is because he has the, um, the rune blood field on right now. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Man, they're blowing up barrels, they're coming through the floors, they want my body, and they can't have it. But they want it. Oh, that was a lost soul. That's definitely not good. Oh, hello. Suddenly heavy metal music. That was like Whoa. right on the beat drop. That was sick. <laughs> I believe this is also the first fight that features the portals in the arenas. Mm. Uh, which is like a, if, if you want to get from one side to the other really, really quickly and right. stop through. It's not super useful in this run, but... Nice. Right. This level of one to use the BFG. It's yeah. got three in stock from the BFG itself and three additional cells here. The little green poorly things are the BFG ammo. Right? Right. Oh dear, what'd I do? Okay, never mind. They also want you to use it up before you 
interact with this, thinking the level's over. Ah, I see. It's got one last surprise. It was a great effect. Mm -hmm. For real. Like, oh man, the fight's finally over, I can relax, and then two burns of hell show up. Those things are like really hard to kill too, and he's... Okay. <laughs> I got the purple power. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just in case Byte is making this like look easy, by the way, Nightmare is a really, really, really hard difficulty. He's oh. just he's just that good. <laughs> Please don't 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 tell that to the game. The game is gonna remind us all where we stand. I'm sorry, Byte, you <laughs> suck and you need to be better. Okay? I'm just a humble scrub lord. Leave me be. <laughs> Time for a donation. <laughs> all right, we have twenty five dollars from Josh H G that says. One of the best runs I've seen. The runner is so charismatic and informative. Keep up the good work, and I'm excited to see what else is in store for the week. Thank you. Thank you. And also, you know, I, I guess, you know, with the, the Doom Slayer, the Doom Marine, I do want to give a special shout out and thanks to uh, all the armed men and service women who serve this country. Thank you for giving up your freedoms to fight and protect ours. I always appreciate seeing y'all in chat. <laughs> Rip and tear and stay safe. All right, blood field is done, which means it's ammo boost time. This level has a cool challenge as well, thread the needle. Um, it requires you to kill eight demons with one shot, and guess what? What weapon can do that? I wonder. The pistol? <laughs> <laughs> I need one of those if that's the case. Is it the Bioforce gun? <laughs> it's gotta be the chainsaw. The big friendly gun. Where are you go? Hey, hey, thank you. Ooh, man, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Ammo boost in action. Uh, so, uh, what, are you, what are you referring to there? Sorry, I think I missed that. Uh, so, ammo boost has a small chance of dropping BFG Ooh. from demon kills. Okay. And we just happen to get one. Do you know what like the exact percentile is? Um, you know, at this rate, I'd say it's maybe five percent. Gotcha. But uh, I haven't actually found the reference to it in the game files. All right, we do have that taken care of, so now we can start spamming with the rockets. Since we have so many devs watching, if they just want to donate and tell us, that'd be... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Not a lot, just a little bit. <laughs> just like a dollar. Do we have time for donations, speaking of that? Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, would you like one that covers some lore in the game? That sounds cool. Let's do it. All right. Uh, <clears throat> we have $10 from Sinistar that says, on the second day of the marathon run, when the sun was down, one sat. He chose the path of 100% completion. In his relentless haste, he missed no collectibles. And with boiling blood, he scoured the umbral plains, seeking to destroy cancer. <laughs> My and name is Bite, and cancer can bite me. <laughs> <laughs> Over, you're kind of turning into Batman now. <laughs> <laughs> and those who tasted the bite of his sword named him Bite Me. Point and click until it is done. <laughs> and then we have a follow up of $50 from Mott that says, Shout out to Cover Muffin for ruining his voice with a point and tear. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the time where we're like, uh, so maybe we should go to uh, donations. Okay, one second, I gotta get some water. <laughs> <laughs> so there's like a little subliminal message there about the cyber demon. If you want to explain that by me. Oh yeah, so uh, the way that the game loads objects and characters, they'll, they'll put a model in off screen somewhere and then they will animate it. And uh, what you see there is the cyber demon loading in on what's supposed to be an off-screen point, but uh, you know, we kind of take a vent and drop down. So the cyber demon just walks through us, even though we're supposed to be looking at him through the glass. And then it ports him back to what should be out of sight to despawn him. Uh, there's actually a uh, really interesting video on how the camera works in Doom. And while I can't necessarily remember what the uh, channel name was, if anybody does know or wants to drop a donation, please feel free to do so, because <laughs> it's extremely informative. Speaking of 
extreme information. I have a question that you two probably might like. Let's say I want to like get into Doom 100%. What sort of like resources do you guys have for new runners? Oh man, this is great because our boy Red Warrior right here is working on creating an extremely comprehensive video guide on each level. So uh, he's put a lot of time and effort into that. Hell yeah. And uh, we also have a Discord community that you can join. Uh, there's there's two one one that focuses on like the hardcore speed run aspect of it, and then we have like an ultra nightmare challenge community. Everybody in both of them are extremely helpful, so I would highly recommend if you're interested in just learning more about the game or learning how to run it, join those. I definitely want to learn 100% before Eternal drops. Yeah. It's a fun experience. You will not be disappointed. Yeah, if you're looking for a, a very welcoming and helpful community, uh, especially if you're going to pick up Doom Eternal, just go ahead and hop in the Discord uh, while you're watching this. You set. And I would imagine you can join the Discord from the Doom speedrun page. You can get to a little the, button you can click. Get to the uh, like the main any percent and all secrets one. I, I don't know if there's a link to the hundred percent. I bet those helpful people in the Discord could link you to the yeah. other one too. Or just message us on Twitter or, or something, and we can we can help you out from there. Oh man, things are about to get real. <laughs> real messy. Oh. Oh, does, does the quad apply to the heat wave too? Oh, absolutely. That's the Applies to everything. <laughs> Almost as satisfying as the burn. All right, big boy time. Lazarus, by the way, has, um, it's such a big oh, level. No! It's two parts. That's quad damage in the face. It didn't feel nice. <laughs> what were you saying, Red? Sorry? Yeah, no worries. <laughs> they got a little tense there. Yeah. Um, Lazarus is a big level. Um, it's split into two, into two parts. And the arenas are usually, they tend to be narrow and cramped. So you don't have that much room to maneuver around mm. while getting flooded with big demons. So it may be a little claustrophobic. But the music is still great in this level. Yeah. I do want to talk about what just happened there. Notice that a little gib flew conveniently in front of my rockets. Uh, once again, <laughs> Doom very calmly reminds me who who my daddy is. It, it'll do it to anyone. So uh, it's a very humbling experience when it happens. Just hope it doesn't happen when you're about to make your first ultra nightmare clear. So that little that, that little giblet had collision. It does. Wow. Bodies and corpses have collision as well. Uh, so if you think you've killed something above you and it happens to fall down in front of you while you have a rocket launcher out, <laughs> you're in for a surprise. <laughs> yeah, when he, he just reaches hand through the wall there, normally you have to wait for the fight to be over for the panel to open up. But uh, King Don here on couch actually found you can just walk up to it any time and hit the button. Demon presence in. All right, we wave this part goodbye, and now we're going on to part two. Yeah. So we are now in the private labs of Olivia. So if you're freaking out, like, oh, he's, he's ending the level, and he only has three combat uh, challenges done. It. Like, don't worry, because it's, it's still the same level. It's a nice little load screen. Yeah, nice as a word for it. And right there, there's something we haven't talked about either. When you, like, Gauss boost backward, you can jump at certain times when you touch the floor, and you, pre like, preserve your momentum. It's not like true bunny hopping, right? Because you're not right. actually building any, you're just trying to... Right. You can't build any off of it, but you can just keep the momentum that you have. Is it faster, like, when you're just running normally to jump as well? Or? So, it doesn't give you any benefit in speed. What it does is prevent you from slowing down, because the geometry can... Mm stumble you up a bit. Sure. So when you're in the air, you maintain a constant velocity, which can be very helpful whenever the terrain is a little uneven. <coughs> the room we were just in, Olivia's office, um, holds some nice two little Easter eggs. The one is actually a mission challenges. Um, you have to play around demon destruction there. It's like, um, I forgot the name, um, Candy Crush. It works like that, simply with classic Doom, uh, classic Doom demons. And the other one actually has um, the Soul Cube from Doom 3 as well. Good old Soul Cube. So some of the fights we mentioned before, that's like enemy spawned in predictable spots. Uh, this is one where it's based on where you're looking, for, for the most part. There's some demons that only spawn in certain regions, but you can just look at this one section of the map. 
This is what we call the pie room, and it's because we make nice slices of imp pie. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> like in the in like the pie slice in front of you here. So you're talking about like the cone almost. Yeah. You, okay. Throughout the course of this particular part, you'll end up seeing uh, three on each side, and uh, so the goal is going to be a bit of farming. We're going to try to farm both intimacy as best and heat wave during this course because it's the most convenient time to do so. Let's get the party started. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Yeah. And also because it's based on where he's looking. If he walks too far forward and covers up too many of the spawns, they'll start going to the side. Mm. Gonna have to time things just right. This seems to be a common theme in a lot of games where enemies spawn where you're looking. Mm -hmm. It's like that in a Control and Titanfall as well. Makes it so nice. Just... Oh, hey, it's a BFG. <laughs> You know, I do want to let you guys know it's a game sin to let these things go to waste. <laughs> oh, that's nope. not my chainsaw. <laughs> well, the crazies are taking over the madhouse, so it's time to boogie. Oh dear. Okay, that was spooky. You know, this is a speed run, guys. <laughs> but they're running as fast as they can. <laughs> the assistance was appreciated. <laughs> Time for a donation. Let's go for it. We have $100 from Sarig that says, my cat won't stop watching this Doom run. I hope she doesn't learn too much. Better <laughs> lock the bedroom door tonight. <laughs> That's a great idea. You be very careful. <laughs> they aren't on the rip and tear. Uh, time for one more. <laughs> Keep it going. <laughs> All right, man. We have $250 from Mtrop that says, What's up, Diamond Bite Me? It's your boy, Mtrop. Hey, when are we going to run Dimensions of Time at this thing? Awesome runs, you guys. Save a face rocket for me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I shall. Do you have time for more? Yeah, let's keep going. All right. Well, we have $10 from Orbital Bear that says, I'll donate $10 more if Covert Muffin gives us his best. I'm Batman. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's a great deal. <laughs> yes. Well, Covert Muffin. Yeah, what's up? Let's hear it. You, oh, you want some more? <laughs> All right, well. I want the I'm Batman. <laughs> oh, you want the I'm Batman? Oh, okay, yeah, I can do the other one. I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> Where are the bodies? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Where are the demons to rip and tear? Oh, yes, finally we can unequip this, this rune. All right, thank goodness. <laughs> Sorry, intimacy is best. Sounds nice on paper, but uh, in application, <laughs> it's sloppy. All right, so this is the last rune that we are going to have. This is the saving throw rune, which can come in handy if uh, you know, you're know you doing Ultra Nightmare and you just get caught in a precarious situation. It'll prevent you from having one death. If it's mastered, it will prevent you from having two deaths. Very important caveat is if you have it equipped at the end of a level, and you've already used it, it will actually reset, uh, so... Oof. And the melee you're doing is the alternative method of the DK SMS? That is right? correct. Okay. Whoa! Wow. Man, no, I don't want it! Oh, I don't God. want it! <laughs> Man, talk about a close call there. Yeah. That was close. <laughs> <laughs> Amen! <laughs> I'm still concerned about that one guy's cat a little. <laughs> <laughs> You're still, Red's over here just like, I'm still thinking about that, you guys. Like, that was messed up. <laughs> yeah, maybe could, they could send us a follow-up donation just to make yeah, sure. Let's okay. Let's okay. Let's You're okay. Yeah. <laughs> send $20 if you need help. Yeah. Or, or 25 yeah. maybe? Maybe 35 yeah. yeah, I don't think cats can count past nine, so I think that's a, that's a pretty safe way. 
Oh man, thank you. I know it's someone. It's something everyone points out when they play this game. It's, is there really a safe level of demonic presence? <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> Whoa, that was so close. Yeah, that was almost, almost a rocket to the face, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Zoom in. All right, here we go. We're going to our first boss. Oh, yeah, so uh, you can't do the, the, the time in it that you normally see with the weapon wheel, right? Well, you like that, that's like, that's could do it. Or that's not something that you guys do in this category. But, uh, yeah, we, we typically like going with the BFG double tap because... Uh, BFG double tap. It's a, it's a little trickier to pull off, and uh, as Red will tell you, it's exactly the same kind of weapon priority abuse. Uh, Red, if you want to go ahead and talk about what's about to happen here, I'll focus on trying to melt this guy in short order. Yeah, sure. So we talked about the hologram already a few times. Um, it, you can abuse it here again. So if you use your um, BFG, if you shoot a shot and hit your equipment, use equipment key, you drop the hollow and instantly after, thanks to all the um, pre-delays that are um, occurring there, you have actually two BFG shots shot right away. What? What? <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so if you've seen any percent, uh, there's the weapon wheel glitch where you just shoot a BFG and then pull out the weapon wheel and it strains their health. Uh. <laughs> but with all the upgrades we have, it's actually faster to kill him right away. That's gnarly. With the big friendly gun. It's quite friendly. And now you will actually see um, the double tap from the BFG, so pay keen attention to how many BFGs you see. Oh, wait, that was, there wasn't a B. Okay, I thought that's why no, you died so yet, No, now. <laughs> there we go. And as soon as the bosses get stunned or hit by the BFG, they are much more vulnerable to any sort of alpha rotations. Holy cow. As you see, he just melted away. <laughs> yeah, my, my reaction exactly. <laughs> Time. Yeah, like, what? <laughs> His face looked like it needed a better horn on it, so, you know, I tried to fix it, it just didn't do a good job. <laughs> this was the best, like, one in the morning crowd of all time. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of... Okay, 14 is the next sanity check on this, so if we got 14, we're good to go. If we don't, Legas. 14! Yeah! All right, so we talk about the big friendly gun. We should talk about the tiny friendly gun, because we're going to have to uh, master it in this level. Is that the pistol? Pew, 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 pew. Nice. <laughs> All right, enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can continue. I liked it. <laughs> Get hyped! Man, the crowd today. Dude, yeah, it's lit. <laughs> you know what? One man ensemble has to agree with the $25 dono that says, loving all the energy despite how late it is, yeah. is at night. Much love to the runner, couch, announcer, and crowd for making one in the morning feel as alive as ever. Absolutely, man. <laughs> oh, no. I need, I need to kill you with this big, fearsome pistol. <laughs> Get out <laughs> of the way! <laughs> yeah, Mr. President! Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that tickled. All right, where'd you go? See, did this is the problem, man. You did it, man. Oh, well. There's more later. <laughs> this is the number one pinky. They're just so cute, man. Hey, thank you. Generous donation by Zombie here. One BFG against cancer. Thank you. <laughs> Do we have time for donations? Speaking of? Yeah, keep it going, man. All right, let's keep it going. We have $5 from Doomguy235 that requested in the Doomguy voice, rip and tear cancer apart. Awesome runs, you guys. Keep it up. May the RNG gods bless you all. And this is the best way to spend days off. God, Covert, you Agreed. were great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having way too much fun, man. This is so fun. This is so oh, good. Oh, man. 
no! Yeah, keep going, dude. All right, we have $25 from Buddy Boy that says killer commentary in this Doom run. Keep it up, guys. We also have $150 from Fruitcake of Doom. <laughs> that, yeah, go ahead. Cheer I think for that. Fruitcake yeah. of Doom. Doom. <laughs> Doom. They say. <laughs> They say, this Doom run is so much fun. Your skill, humor, and dedication to your community are inspiring. Oh, man. You know, the, the community is really the, the pillar of this. As I said earlier, you know, uh, the, the people that come together for this game where we just viciously tear apart demons, nicest people I know, and uh, it wouldn't be the run that it is without them. So, love you all. Thank you. Thank you so much. So one of this level's mission challenges is um, atop the mountain. You have to glory kill a big, tall baron from above. And there's a stylish way to pull that off. And you will see that momentarily after ripping and tearing through all those demons here with quad damage. The baron's about to spawn in. There it is. Oh, nope, that's oh. bad. Oh. Nice. There we go. <laughs> A little bit slippery, buttered ledges. <laughs> Ooh, man. Can we do more donations? Oh, yeah. Oh. All right, well, we have... <laughs> and it got mastered. We have $75 from Shale Hart that says, I love watching AGDQ every year. So happy to see you are speedrunning Doom 2016. Just wait for Doom Internal. Hart Shale from Doom Team. Glory kill cancer. Doom! <laughs> that one. All right, this right here is the Whoa. mastery for saving throw, which is by far the most... Uh, Anxiety-inducing rune to have to master in an Ultra Nightmare run. And even though we're on Nightmare, just think about that. Ultra Nightmare, you're this late in the game, and you've got to master a rune where you have to kill 10 demons after you technically take fatal damage. And so the time slowdown, was that saving throw saving your life, basically? And that was saving throw giving you a slow-mo buffer to figure out what the hell you're going to do with the short remainder of uh, your life. Okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, it basically saves you from, from death, but it puts you at 5 HP, and okay. you kind of slow down until you kill off enough demons. And so you worked out the best way to get the kills while slow-mo was with the BFG right there. Okay. Absolutely. Nice. I take control. I put my life in my own hands. <laughs> What's about to happen now is um, he is equipped with Richard, Richard the Rune. It's a great rune. Um, as long as you maintain a certain level of armor, you have infinite ammo. And in order to master it, you have to refill your ammo 12 times in a row. And note the acid pool. You take damage from there. And you also have the siphon grenade, which um, pulls off or siphons away life, which, yeah, maxes out your armor again. You can see it. The armor mm. is now at 100. And by simply stepping into the acid pool, you can master it right away. Nice. Much. Yeah, so he's just taking damage and getting armor back up. To get all those and picks. you to... Calm down just, just a moment. Down. Thank you. Thank you. There it's my stuff. Nice. Right, there we go. I already had that, but whatever. And so you have infinite ammo now? Yes. I sure do. Uh, that is the beauty of Rich Get Richer. So now all I need is uh, 75 armor in order to take advantage of that perk. Wow. Time for a donation. Let's go for it. All right. Well, we have a special $30 from Bazooka Joey. No yeah. way. Oh, my God. Massive shout outs to this guy. This guy's a freaking legend. <laughs> so, you know, I didn't think people like him existed. This this guy is the QuakeCon champion who freaking took on hordes of mouse and keyboard players <laughs> with a controller. <laughs> Much love, brother. I'm sorry, Muffin. I, I had to <laughs> no, go. Man. Go no, ahead, no, man. No. <laughs> All right. Well, Bazooka Joey says, let's rip a tear through cancer and send it back to hell. Amen, brother. <laughs> Much respect to Bite Me and King Dime and all the runners. GDQ, beautiful event and making a difference. 
Let us all keep changing lives. Definitely, man. You, you, you are a pillar of the community. Your, your positivity is infectious. Uh, I love you guys, you know, and having you in New Classic, it's just, man, it's great. It's great, I love you all. <laughs> well, I, I think I killed him a little too soon, but whatever. All right, so now we're gonna ride the bullet up and we're gonna interface with this nice little skull key here. Uh, we have a switch back here that's gonna require us to backtrack, not a lot, just a little bit, um, so that we can get a soul spear. Now, typically I like dipping my toes into these secret levels, but uh, this is an exception because of the 200 armor contribution. You can see we're at 1700 right now. Uh, this is the longest rune that you have to focus on throughout the entirety of this run, so any mega health you can get definitely helps bring that down. I don't know if you guys at Software are ever going to do any patches, but if you stealth nerf that down to like 2k instead of 2.5, I don't think anybody would mind. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's all yours again, Muffin. All right, well, we have a $2,000 donation Whoa. from Lamp 252. <laughs> And they ask, who knew point and clicks could be so intense? <laughs> That's why it was the best point and click adventure of 2016. <laughs> hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. We also have $25 from Sophie Storm that says, hope your ribs won't be doomed from all these laughs you've been having. <sighs> I, I fear there. <laughs> the damage has already been done. <laughs> Time for one more. Oh man, just keep them rolling. All right, yeah, let's keep going, dude. Yeah. We have fifty dollars from Jman one six zero six that says, "Hey there, ID Software QA here. Just wanting to thank you for playing Doom twenty sixteen. I right. can't wait to watch all the runs in Doom Eternal in yeah. the future. Oh." And I can't forget, rip and tear until it's done. Yeah. Doom. See you all in March. Man, <laughs> guys, thank you so much for all the love and effort that y'all put into the game. You know, it wouldn't be this game unless you guys cared as much as you do. It shows all of your hard work and effort. It, we, we, we enjoy it. So many people around the world enjoy it. It's been a great learning and educational tool for me. So please keep making killer games. You guys are the best at it. And we love you for it. <laughs> My wallet doesn't, but I do. <laughs> Time for another? Man, just keep them going. All right. Well, we have a, another voice challenge for me. We have $25 from Eli226 that says, How's your pain? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, you think Doom is your ally. You merely adopted the Doom. I was born in it. Molded by it. That, that one needs a little work. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'd give that one a, a definite uh, 10 out of 10. That, that was great. <laughs> oh, man. Ouch. That was a Ow. rocket in the face. Yeah. So every level has, um, as we mentioned earlier, three mission challenges, and he wants them to get done as fast as possible in this particular level, because the upcoming fight um, with the haste upgrade, which we will see momentarily, um, there's a weapon from the chain gun and weapon mod mobile turret, which you have to kill um, five demons with one, de sorry, four demons with one deployment of the mobile turret five times, and coincidentally, the next arena holds a number of four times five demons. So you can pretty much master it instantly in that arena alone. On top of it, you have the haste upgrade, which just nice. is so satisfying. All right, looks like uh, we're gonna roll the dice on this. Maybe we'll get lucky. So if you kill two meatballs with one shot, you get uh, nice, beautiful challenge done. Let's go over here to mobile turret. Oh, I remember this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Don't kill the barrel. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to grab this. Don't mind me. And you must not overheat. So otherwise, it resets all the kills you've had so far. So you got to pay attention to his um, crosshair. 
Oh yeah, there's the meter. Okay, right. <laughs> Two more demons. The stamina and the mancubus, and it's done. Awesome. Yes. Nice. Time for a donation. Let's do it. All right. We have $15 from Ghostbird that says, man, I really should go to bed, but I'm enjoying this Doom run way too much. How dare you all be so entertaining? <laughs> oh, man, Greta Thunberg has entered the chat. How dare you? <laughs> all right, so we got our first key. Uh, now we're going to go over to the next part over here. <clears throat> and by the way, the archer cell he has just grabbed is the very last one in this game. So he's maxed out all his ammo, all his weapon, uh, sorry, ammo, health, and armor upgrades. Yeah, How are you alive? It's kind of another throwback to uh, Dead Simple, and it's follow-up even simpler. Oh man, you know, big shout out to uh, Zelo, by the way. Part of the OG QuakeCon crew. We uh, wish you could be here, buddy. Uh, we love you, appreciate you. Hope that uh, all is well in your world, man. Can we get a nice round of applause for Zelo? Yeah. Oh no, did I not? I didn't. I'm so bad. I'm so bad at this game. What happened? <laughs> I forgot to equip ammo boost. I was wondering why I didn't have any BFG ammo. Oh. <laughs> eh, it happens. So maybe, fine. maybe we'll, uh, yeah, this, this is fine. <laughs> it's not the worst thing that could happen. Maybe we'll uh, get lucky and one of these imps will be generous with us. We'll see. Actually, the most, or the more important part is that he maintains his armor in this level. Um, he will need it for the upcoming fight. So he can benefit from rich get richer. <laughs> oh hey! <laughs> there we go. Man, thank you, Imp. Oh, it's Christmas! <laughs> it's all oh, to feel a lot <laughs> like Christmas. Where did you go? <laughs> I don't know if you guys on Twitch can hear this, but man, this crowd is awesome. Yeah, big shout out to the crowd here. Oh, it's man. <laughs> Feliz Navidad! Feliz Navidad! <laughs> Feliz Navidad! Oh, shit. Feliz Navidad! Doom! <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That's the best that's the best guy by the way, the teal guy. That's the best one. You know, I'm I'm gonna have to disagree cordially. He's, he's, he's because, healed. Uh, but th there's no there's no fist bump, man. Okay, okay. Second best. Okay. Thank you. Well, I I mean he can still be your best. I'm I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying, you know. Maybe he'd look cooler if he had a fist bump animation. <laughs> All right. So here's a throwback to the Icon of Sin, the final boss in Doom 2. You shoot him in the head, and he gives you a present. And I believe it actually plays the sequence Oh dear, as that well. was bad. There we go, that's better. Is it a Christmas present? It's a gift, <laughs> so we take it. <laughs> oh, I can't let this go to waste. As I said, that's a game sin. Right, in fact, the song that is playing through this entire level is Rip and Tear, so it fits the spirit. Mick Gordon commandeth, therefore I obey. And this is the arena where he really wants to get richer. He has the haste up right now, and otherwise he would be draining the ammo way too fast, because there are um, two Mancubi, four Spectres, and two Barons. So you really want to have to worry about ammo. Thank you. <laughs> Time for a donation. 
Yes, sir. All right. Well, it, it, I mean, if the yes, sir is quite pertinent because we have $25 from Gnarly Whale that says, Hey, Doom guys, it's your good friend, Mr. Torque Flexington from Borderlands. <laughs> Keep up the explosions. I mean, rip and tear. Runner's choice. Smile. <laughs> You know, I, I completely ignored that last one, so I'm gonna let BT uh, filled filled all of those. <laughs> We're gonna take care of. You're good, man. So, so one thing that's also different uh, from any percent is usually you would skip past these cutscenes. Uh, and although he's running this a nightmare where he could, he's keeping the spirit of an ultra nightmare run where you can't reload checkpoints. So you could actually watch these beautiful cutscenes. That's cool. And once more, we get to see the double tap on the BFG, especially for right. the first Hellguard. He has an invincible shield but you can kill him because he can never bring it up again. So sick. Oh. GG. <laughs> Did I do that? Yeah, if you notice his weapons there, he goes into the, the alpha rotation we talked about earlier, which is the super shotgun, siege mode, and the uh, rocket launcher. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, you need to come down from the sky. I'm pretty sure your mom wouldn't appreciate you being up there. Whoa. <laughs> oh, hello. Uh-oh. The rebel. Oh, no! He is a rebel. Gotta put Ooh. an end to his resistance. I know you have 200 health, but, like, it just it feels like you have so little still. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, big thing is he, he lost that armor. So he yeah, it just looks like he's super vulnerable, right? Yeah. Well, he lost the oh, and then he lost ammo. ammo. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Yes! get clipped and I'm gonna regret it, but I don't care. <laughs> so, time for a donation? Oh, yeah, please. <laughs> okay, well, this is kind of concerning because the cat175 sent a donation <laughs> for $9 <laughs> that says, don't worry, Red, the human is perfectly <laughs> safe for now. The couch, though, rip and tear. <laughs> <laughs> That cat, though. <laughs> it's a wild cat. No, oh, it's a mech cat. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. We have a plan to send you there. All right, so we're just gonna, you know, shamelessly copy a Seeker Strat and touch the, you know, blue bar over there. That way we don't end up locking ourselves out. Sometimes you can interact with that terminal too fast. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you, you just, uh, it, the door opens and then shuts. And so you have to press it again, and it just looks really silly, and you feel very silly, and uh, you continue on with your life afterwards. But uh, this, this particular mission challenge can be a bit of an annoying uh, challenge because, you know, imps, they are very active. They, they love traveling all over the place. All right. Uh, also, this level is one of the shorter um, it's a second to last now, fortunately. But um, considering how small it is, it contains at least 10 BFGs, excluding the ones you can get from ammo boost. Nice. So we can use your big friendly gun quite a lot here. And for this level, it is a very friendly gun. <laughs> Hype! Um, hmm, where am I imps at? Yeah, because he still needs to meet the challenge. He has to find an imp before he can start letting loose with the Ooh, Oh, my oh, this God. Is gonna get oh, God. Yeah, this is what happens. That's what happens when the imps get loose. Yep. I'm going to find one, I promise. Typically, they drop down. Don't. Don't you do it. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Nice. Thank you. All right, so uh, 
Hey, we got some natural infighting going on there, which is a mechanic that started in uh, the classic Dooms, and uh, I believe uh, <coughs> BT can... Uh, oh, he's so big, yet he's so graceful. Are you calling me fat? <laughs> <laughs> Come on over, come on over, fatty. Uh, anyway, I was, words were coming out of my mouth and there was a thought there, it is now lost. Something about, no, I don't even remember either. Yeah, <laughs> well, anyway, we're gonna it, right? continue on with <laughs> the <laughs> run. <laughs> call me there. We, we call that speedrunner brain when you can't remember anything for more than 10 seconds ago. Yeah, if we've started talking about anything and we didn't finish it and you're still wondering, just yeah. ask us on Twitter or Discord or something, <laughs> we'll, We'll fill you in. Yeah, be sure to follow Bite Me on, on Twitter, at X underscore Bite Me underscore X, right? Did I get that right? Throw back to my high school years. Nice. I blame the person who got the natural Bite Me before me, I, before I could. Wow, man, wording is hard, guys. <laughs> okay. I mean, you are like two and a half hours deep into this run, so you can be forgiven. <laughs> Use your nose bite. <laughs> <sighs> Smells like intelligence. Oh, no! Oh, yes! Oh, you got it. <laughs> that shouldn't have happened. Thank you. Man, these demons are so helpful. So what just happened there, um, one of the challenges is go pinata, kill three demons with, um, with one grenade. And it got a pretty intense spot there. The zombies are scattered around the small blue key area there, but they can be blocked by the specter, so he wanted to actually hurt the, um, hurt the specter before. But thankfully, everything worked out. That it did. That it did. I love how this lever's just hidden behind a box. It's like, oh, that doesn't seem that hard to find, but it, it's so easy just to walk past it. Yeah. You know, I have to say, I'm very ashamed to admit that the easiest handle in the game was the one that was most difficult for me to find. That one will be coming up in uh, Argent Denur. Dime really rubbed that salt into that wound. He's like, you know, this one's so nice. It's so simple compared to all the other ones, which are so difficult to find. And I'm just like, you know, um, that was the hardest one for me. <laughs> All right, well, we just mastered Armor Defensive 2, so now we can go to our Alpha Rune rotation, nice. uh, which is going to be really great. We're going to see, hopefully, some more effective clears uh, from this point onward. Uh, we are now kind of at the mercy of RNG, so let's uh, hope for the best and prepare for the worst. One thing we didn't talk about is how this level is aesthetically just so much different from all the other levels. Yeah. It, it's such a nice change of pace. I think the, the concept of it is awesome, like a giant supercomputer that's built into a glacier right. to keep it cool. That's really cool. Uh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute zero cooling system ever constructed. I thought I heard one of those some... Ow! <laughs> It is still alive. Yeah. Okay, I ain't got time for this. <laughs> do you also have time for some donations? Let's do it. <laughs> I do have time for those. Oh, great. Well, we have $25 from Adam Motron that says, the Argent energy in this crowd is infectious. Nice. But if you're watching at home and know somebody who would enjoy this speed run, clip and share. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this individual wins an internet for a night. <laughs> okay, this is it. This is the final arena. We've got a little over two combat rating bobbles to uh, go for this. Uh, unfortunately has been the end of many an ultra nightmare run so it's very important to pay attention to how many things you kill in this particular part of the game because once this arena is over there is no going back mm. The music is a little different in this level as well. Um, color-wise, it's all blue and cold, and it's less metal. It's, it reminds me more of dubstep, and that's pretty much the only song where we hear that, well, kind of genre, I would say. But yeah, that's my personal feeling about that. All right, well, we got our combat rating. Now uh, we just have to hunt down the last demon that's holding up this arena. I have a present for him. <laughs> No, 
he's got a present for me too. <laughs> but I don't want it. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> that is a not a puppy. <laughs> Don't pet the demons, guys. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh goodness. We're alive. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very scared. <laughs> I was just yanking everybody's chain. I meant to do that. <laughs> Not that, though. I didn't mean oh. it. Oh, I didn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, enough of that. <laughs> As I said, Doom likes showing me who's my daddy. <laughs> You really yanked my chain. I thought you were gonna lose. <laughs> oh, you only spawned right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you just thankfully. hit a checkpoint. I thought you had yeah. to do the whole fight again. Okay. No. All right, there we go. Well, my chain was sufficiently yanked then. <laughs> so uh, that's it for that. Let's uh, just uh, continue onward, pretend like nothing happened, right, guys? Can you imagine if that was Ultra Nightmare and you died like that? Dude? Uh, Have you died like that in Ultra Nightmare? <laughs> actually, that's the question. I've died worse ways than that. So. <laughs> I would love to see like a, an Ultra Nightmare death compilation for you. <laughs> Um... <laughs> <laughs> How much time do you have? <laughs> Six hours into the video, are you done laughing yet? <laughs> Man, you're still in UAC? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, here we are, good friend Vega. Poor guy, he uh, can't terminate himself, so we're helping by pulling out the uh, Argent cells that are powering him. The cool thing about this is that I think Doom Guy recognized very early on that uh, Vega was actually a really beneficial partner to have, you know. And so, for whatever reason, he decides to back him up. Good move, Doom Guy. I love how he hesitates. <laughs> There's yeah. a hidden actually. Easter egg here, too, if the UI would play nice, but it doesn't want to, so. Yeah, there's so much personality in. in the Doom Slayer's actions, and like everything he does, despite not saying a word. It's cool. He's a man of no words, mm. but many actions. So this is it. This is the final level. Uh, we may finally catch up to Olivia if we're lucky. Doesn't he really just have two actions? Ripping think, and tearing? I think the audience might know. <laughs> 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 Pointing and clicking. <laughs> Who'd have thought? <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's do it. Uh, we're going to unlock our... Last couple of uh, upgrades there. Runes are good. Weapons, we got two more. Would be really nice to uh, have Rich get richer, but you actually have to be good to have that. The missing two weapon upgrades or weapon masteries uh, currently are Precision Bolt, which he's doing right now, um, headshot four, five Hell Knights with, well, the Precision Bolt. And the other one is the Getting Rotator, the second upgrade for the Chain Gun. Alright, so we're, we're waiting for certain enemies to. Oh, yep, that's my tail. <clears throat> Ouch. I love the weapon mastery for the BFG. Big redacted gun. I don't know why they would redact friendly, though. Uh, so friendly is not a friendly term in hell, thank you. Oh, there you go. Nice. <laughs> All right. Um, so this part coming up has a generous amount of trash. Uh, trash being, like, very squishy, unwilling. So we're going to try to use those to get the last mastery. It's very important that we do not trigger any barrels during this process because mm. barrel kills will ruin everything. And this is not necessarily something that is uh, easy to get anywhere else. So let's let these guys congregate a little bit. What's the goal specifically? We got to kill five enemies in four seconds. And there we go. We nice. got it. There we go. Nice. One more to go. Right, good old precision bolt. So uh, this part coming up is known as the liberate jump. Red, why is it called the liberate jump? Because it can liberate you from the torment. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. There's a death plane right there, uh, which is not terribly obvious. But uh, if you screw up your jump, you will die. Wrong mod. 
So this last map consists of like three big arena fights that you have to do. And, uh, get a little scary. What he's doing right now is grabbing the quad and he's killing both revenants instantly. So he has, by that, he has skipped one phase of the entire arena. That is actually a little bit tricky at times. So uh, we were able to pull it off. That was really, really fortunate that happened. And even more fortunate that we got greens. All right, we're moving on to the next arena. The quad damage doesn't boost you more with the, the Goss Cannon, does it? No. That'd, Would it be amazing if be it pretty, did, though? That'd be sick. You got yeah. four times the boost. Yeah. <laughs> Doom Eternal, maybe? Question mark? Oh, man. <laughs> I have to start breaking out with Peter Pan songs. He can fly, he can fly, he can fly. That was beautiful. I try. Thank you. <laughs> you know, uh, funny thing, this is that uh, very obvious uh, hand crank. It took me hours. It does blend in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but it's so easy to see, right? <laughs> Like, a lot of the pickups are real bright and shiny, and then that's just, like, sitting in the corner. It's dark. Like, oh, I'm not going to look over there for anything I need. Just, like, popping a pimple. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I can see your head tilt my purse. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what kind of pimples you're popping, dude. <laughs> Well, I'm not popping them. I'm ripping and tearing them. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, where's where's this uh, this Hell Knight at? He's uh, being awfully shy. No, seriously, where where are you? Did you just off? Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> he was looking for the Hell Knights because those were the trigger enemies for this particular arena. If mm. you oh man, that was really close and uncomfortable. So Kako demons are actually uh, the most dangerous melee demon that there is. They have a bite attack, right? They do, and it deals the highest amount of damage in the game uh, base. So you want to avoid it at all costs. Do we ever actually talk about trigger enemies? You know, I don't know if we yeah. actually did. I don't remember that, no. I think right well, in our right facility we did, yes, with the Hell Knights. But here, um, what I was about to say, he was farming, or not farming, but he was looking for the Hell Knights. Because if you kill five, four Hell Knights in total, you trigger the next phase of the fight, which holds five Cyber Mank you buy in total. So you have to um, count five Cyber Manks in that regard. And after the fifth one is that, the Baron spawns in. Okay, something's... Thank you. It's always it's an imp. Always an imp. Always an imp. So we're, we're kind of tight on combat rating, and we've only got one uh, arena left to go. It is uh, deceivingly close. One of the mission challenges here is hold still, kill two barons with one shot, and the upcoming fight, the very last arena and the very last phase of that arena only has three barons. It's the only possible um, location you can get. Yeah, and you would think as any sane person, oh, a single BFG would be able to do it. But unfortunately, there is a bit of a glitch. The tendrils do not count as being the same weapon. Uh, oh. It would actually require the BFG to uh, detonate and uh, kill both of them upon detonation. So what we opt to do is grab the quad damage and use the, the quad damage what are you doing there, Bite? Uh, to get a siege mode shot mm. uh, that ends up killing them both. <laughs> yeah, if the devs wanted to stealth patch that too. You know, I wouldn't argue. Well, the devs are watching with a $25 donation from Tokyo Punch-Out. Tokyo! Uh. <laughs> Tokyo says, happy Doom year. We're also hyped to see you guys rip and tear through Doom Eternal. Love you guys. Love you too, man. Love you too. Man, that's awesome. I like the double tap on that pinky. <laughs> you know, it was just a floating corpse, but it looked like it needed it yeah. for good measure. Yeah. And the trigger enemies here in this arena are, by the way, the pinkies and the hell knights. There are five hell knights in total and three pinkies. Whenever you kill them, you face the next um, phase of the fight. Right now, where the Cybermanks spawn in. And when they're dead, the barons spawn in. And watch him closely to go for a hold still. 
He stuns the one, shoots a DK SMS towards them, and wow. there he goes. Nice. And we got the combat rating and some sumptuous BFG to boot. Now, something's still alive, though. What are you doing over there, man? Time right. for a quick donation? Yes. Well, we have $25 from Defiler Phil. Phil! <laughs> oh, man! There's so many people I know. Uh, Phil has to say, Bite, fantastic run. Always a pleasure to watch. Repetera Teletison! Hell yes, brother! Oh, man, I love you guys! <laughs> Repetera! <laughs> All right, let's go say hello to Olivia. Yeah, she's just been chilling down here for a couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> this is the very epitome of overdoing it. I mean, where is her liver? <laughs> so much. And once more, we get to see the double tap of the BFG because it's a boss, and it doesn't really matter if you do the double tap or only one BFG in actual arenas, so you only benefit from bosses. Is this the final boss? Yes, this is okay. it. Such a great entrance, too. Yeah, this is probably my favorite entrance of any demon in this game because it's just so badass. It's also my favorite outro. <laughs> oh, bite. Come on, man. We ain't got time for this. <laughs> Now she has a five second invulnerable face. And now she's vulnerable again. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, this is gonna conclude our run here soon. We're gonna do our check. 11, that signifies that we got everything that we needed for all the stages. Nothing but golds on the weapons. Nothing but golds on the prey editor upgrades. A uh, spin around the wheel. Looks like we got all golds there too. Now this is the moment of truth. 25, 9, 9, 27, <gasps> 35, 16. Oh my god, we're missing a monster. <laughs> no! Wait, okay, we're gonna get it here with this glory kill. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got me, you got me. <laughs> all right, guys, watch me finish this run with one weird trick. <laughs> Vitamin BFG. Nice. <laughs> Good game, everybody. I want to give Is a very time? special yep. thank you <laughs> to my wife and my children. Thank you so much for supporting me in these endeavors. I love you so much. Thank you to my family at id Software, New Classic, everybody within the Doom community. You guys are awesome. I'm looking forward to March 20th, Doom Eternal. If you haven't yet joined the Slayers Club, get those points. I will see y'all in combat mode and invasion. My name is Bites. Doom 2016 can bite me. <laughs> wow, what an incredible run. Can we get one more Doom from the audience? Doom! Heck yeah, dude, thank you so much by me. That run was absolutely incredible. That being said, we're back here at AGDQ 2020, powered by Twitch. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and check out to see if we have some more donations to read. Oh, we have plenty, guys. Thank you so much for the love, especially that past run. We have an exciting show for you for the rest of tonight as well as the rest of the week. Here we have $100 from Loto that says, keep kicking some butt. Thank you, Loto.
That being said, that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys for being such a wonderful audience, and I will see you later in the week. We're going to go to a quick Twitch ad, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. Good night. All right, welcome back to AGDQ 2020. I am taking over for Covert Muffin. My name is Smooth Operative, and it is almost 2 a.m. here, and the party has not stopped. That Doom run was incredible, but we are getting ready for the next run, which is Bayonetta 2. Uh, but first, we have a few donations. We have $55 from the Compilationist 21. My spouse and I have been wrapping up our nights watching some of our favorite games and getting snapped over the knees of these amazing runners for an incredible cause. Big thank you to the runners, announcers, and coordinators who put so much time into making this event happen. Let's kick cancer in its sorry butt and break some more awesome games. AGDQ hype! $20 from Super Shotgun. Hey there, longtime watcher, third time donating. Love what you guys do and just had to donate during the game that I'm in. Good luck on the run and remember, rip and tear until it's done. Everyone is still ripping and tearing and they're not stopping anytime soon. <laughs> Thank you for your donation. We are going to run a few ads and we will return in a moment.
the Prevent Cancer Foundation funded a screening research program to evaluate the use of mobile coposcopes in resource-limited countries, making cervical cancer screening easily accessible to Rwandan women. You don't need any additional light. You are able to see the cervix well. Rwandan women are now able to receive proper screenings and the care they need. We were able to show her the pictures that we had taken with the coposcope. So when you see your client is satisfied, you also feel good. Okay, everyone, it's that time of the night where we need to shut down the stream momentarily. So sit tight and we will be back in just a moment.
All right, they are still getting set up for Bayonetta 2, so why don't we read a few donations? We have $25 from Katina that says, it's best to start the day with so much fun. Greetings from Germany, you are all great. $300 from Anonymous, great event for a great cause. Keep up the good work, everyone. $5 from Lainey, sending all the love and support from Hungary to the night crew. $25 from Ace Azamin. No comment, but thank you so much for your donation. $20 from the Vigilante. Time to yeet cancer from existence. Happy face. $100 from Ken13. No comment, but thank you so much. I'd also like to take this time to remind everyone that any donations that come through from now until the end of the Bayonetta 2 run uh, can also be uh, entry to win a Bayonetta framed art print. So if you are interested in the Bayonetta framed art print, you better get those donations in on this next run. $20 from Bob. Hello, this is my first donation. Y'all are incredible. The runs are awesome and the event is legendary. Long live GDQ. I feel like I'm at a club right now. This is kind of incredible. <laughs> Woo! You go. We have $85.03 from Dark Blob to, hey GDQ, I've been watching for a few years and finally decided to donate to some of my favorite games of the year. Here's to a great rest of the week. Thank you. We have $25 from a mind half full, 219. Don't know if I'll be able to stay up for all of it, but I had to donate for one of my all time favorites, Bayonetta 2. Looking forward to watching it. I'm sure it'll be an amazing show. Don't worry, we have people staying up for you.
twin, sorry, five dollars from Pixelated Chaos. First time catching the stream, but I have been watching for years. Love all of the quick games I've been able to see tonight. Let's combo Cancer into Oblivion as we get ready for Bayonetta 2. $20 from one of my friends, OTP, had to donate while one of my favorite streamers is hosting. Cancer has claimed a number of my family members and in-laws over the past few years, donating to PCF in the hopes that it will help catch a ca case of cancer while it is still treatable. Looking forward to Bayonetta 2. Thank you so much, OTP. $50 from Irrational Soup. Can't stay up for the Bayonetta run, but good luck to the runners. Thank you. We're still over here partying. It's all good. Oh, I got one for y'all in the front. $50 from Ben Kimball. Shout out to the front row dancers. Hi. Another one for $50 from Frog Bomb. Thanks to the dancers for reminding me that I was wanting to start my exercise routine and giving me the motivation to do it. I'm dancing with you. Thank you, Frog Bomb. Get your dance on. Well, we are still setting up for the next run, but I'd like to take this time to remind everyone that AGDQ is benefiting the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Founded in 1985, it's a US-based nonprofit organization, and their mission is to save lives across all populations through cancer prevention and early detection by focusing their work through research, education, outreach, and advocacy. Their vision is to stop cancer before it starts. You can find out more information at preventcancer.org. All right, crowd, we have $20 from your dentist. Shout out to the crowd. Thanks for keeping up the hype. $10 from Jazz. First AGDQ watcher, love the dancers and the vibes. Hope everyone has a great week and stay hydrated. $15 from Kind Tech. Thanks to early detection, my dad is still with us here today. 
so great to see GDQ supporting such a wonderful cause with the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Donation goes to Announcer's Choice. Thank you, Tech. I will be putting that towards the Chippy Fight Zulgon, which is currently at $876.20 of a $3,000 goal. So get those donations in. $20 from Cat152, longtime watcher, first time donor. Love this great event since the first time I saw it. Keep up the good work and shout out to the crowd. You guys are killing it with your dance moves. $25 from Blue Jello 96. Loving the amazing dancers. Keep the hype going. $25 from Shaden. Much love to the dance crew. DDR speed run when? <laughs> They're ready for that. $10 from Pumpkin Bat 69 Big shout out to the dancers for keeping things going. Sleep? Who needs sleep when you have dance? Dance on, my dudes. You may not be able to hear it on the stream, but it is very rowdy and loud in here. <laughs> $15 from Jake204. Thank you, GDQ, for making a unifying force of good in these dividing times. To see so many communities come together to unite against a common goal brings joy to my heart and to all of ours, too. Thank you. Quite a few anonymous donations come in and a few uh, donations with no comments. So $25 from Beth47, thank you so much. $100 from Scuba Squid, thank you very much. $500 from Tam154, thank you. <laughs> They're excited, thank you, thank you. $20 from Calm Pig, appreciate that. $15 from John Star. And $25 from Anonymous. Thank you also very much for your donations. $15 from Black Post. 
Is dancing on next up a thing now? Hmm, I guess it was nothing. Thanks for 10 years of fighting. Even if I just got into watching GDQ three to four years ago, have fun everyone. Greetings from Germany. breaking out the conga line. You're doing great. I can feel the energy from here. The magical orb has spoken and has told me that it's time for another donation from <laughs> $100 from Squeak A9. Shout out to the dancers in the front row. Keep, it, keep vibing it up, having fun, and keeping the hype train rolling. You all rock. Thank you. <laughs> $20 from Homicidal Drew. Didn't know they added DDR to the schedule. Smooth Operative, you are the best. No, Drew, you're the best. Thank you so much. All right, we have time for one more donation before we get started, so let's go with King Kazma. You know I had to swing by while Smooth was hosting. Keep up the great speeders and have a great weekend. <laughs> Thank you, I will try.